Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by AG1, uh, BetterHelp, Game Time, and Delete Me. Hello, folks. And hey, Bear, welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. We got everybody back. Oh, man. How about it? It's been a oh, long time. Who jumped in early? <laughs> <laughs> He's excited to be back. Yeah. yeah. I forgot the uh, the decorum here. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm just I excited mean, to be back, man. I haven't seen you in three months. No, no. I, yeah, I understand that. <laughs> All right. I'll let you finish. <laughs> go ahead. Go. <laughs> Nate Bargatze, Brian Bates, All right. Aaron Weber, Dusty Slay. All right. Aaron, go ahead. <laughs> it's, good. it's good to be back, man. Yeah. I think it was uh, <laughs> Labor Day was the last time we were all together. I don't ever remember, remember which one's which. That's May or September. It's September. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's in May? Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Yeah. 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 Those are big ones. Uh, well, we're back. Seems like a good, good connection. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the chemistry's cool. back. The chemistry chemistry's picked back. up right where I yeah. left off. <laughs> Yeah, because you were in, where did you go? You went somewhere crazy. I was in South America for two yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah, All over the place. Yeah. All over Brazil. I've been excited to talk about Chile, that. Argentina. I streamed oh, Nate Ch- on SNL. Chile. Oh, Chile. From now Argentina. You, oh, you come back Ooh. and now you call it Chile. Look, I would still like to call it Chile, but you sound like an idiot in Ch- Chile going, hey, it's good to be here in Chile. You know, yeah. you get corrected a yeah. lot. But so. here, you call it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was in yeah, Chile. You're, yeah, you're back. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. Well, that anyway. yeah, like Australia, when you say Melbourne, it is. There's almost they tell you not to say it, but then I think they they're kind of they almost go just say Melbourne. Yeah, here it's okay. Melbourne and Chile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, my bad, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're back in America yeah. now. You're back in North America. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Joe Zimmerman pointed out that South Americans are Americans. Yeah, there's not a lot of, uh, they're not saying that down there. I yeah. did learn that. They're yeah, not, the vibe doesn't the, the, feel. I'll tell you the big thing I noticed right when I landed back, man, the cars are so much bigger here. Mm. It's a yeah. it's a real real size thing. Now, I took Ubers all around South America. Everything's small. Even the Uber XL is like a sedan. And then I, I landed at, in Nashville. I got an Uber XL. It was a Cadillac Escalade. All right. And I was like, I'm back. <laughs> it's yeah. good to be back in America. You know? Back in the north. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big money there. Yeah, Uber that's what I was XL. thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your your house is like three yeah, minutes from sure. the airport. $16 from the <laughs> airport. <laughs> you know, I might as well ball out every now and then. Yeah. Long trip. Mm-hmm. How close uh, were you to Antarctica? Pretty close, dude. Pretty close. You couldn't see it. I mean, I say pretty close, but I looked choose. it up and it was about a thousand miles away. But mm-hmm. that's as close as I've ever been. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to. Uh, well, I've been to South. I've been to. Uh, uh, I forget. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I've been. Uh, El Salvador. Mm, isn't that South America? Is that Central America? Oh. Hey, why do we have all the America stuff, man? I don't know why they did that. <laughs> that one guy, Americo Vespucius, he got yeah. a lot named after him. <laughs> yeah, he did a lot. Huh? Yeah, I feel like we should all probably, I, and I almost think everybody would be like, I'm fine redoing it. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's just go, we'll redo it. Yeah, why do, why why be North and South America? I mean, there's enough room for us to just name but who gets to different keep it? stuff. Well, just be Canada. Just be what you are. Yeah, you don't even have to be a continent. You could just be a country. Yeah. Okay. Continent seems. A oh, it's like the, anyway. we live in the Americas. Well, I think it would be our. We would need to be not called America. I guess you would be. We would be. Uh, just the United States. The United States. Yeah. United States. Mm-hmm. So I guess it is that because then it is all just the Americas, and we have just taken over the word America. Yeah. So actually, we might have just solved our own problem here. Maybe we're just saying, listen, you guys, your states aren't united. Ours yeah. is. Ours are. <laughs> yeah. You're America, but we're the United right, States right. of America. We're the U.S. of A. Yeah. <laughs> we're all, we are together. I feel like it's a little more broken up. Yeah. In other places. I don't feel like Chile and, um, uh, I don't know, any other yeah. country in South America. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <You know what> I- <laughs> <laughs> 
So you were way down there. What's, way down what's there. The temperature down there. Uh, it's their winter, right? It's kind of the uh, it's the opposite seasons, obviously, because of the, uh, the other side of the equator. But it was it was pretty cold, like real south down there, thirties, forties. Oh, really? Yeah. It looked like you were near some icebergs in some of those photos. You're yeah, there. we went to some glaciers out you're there. The, you're the blue square. Uh, yeah, that's the blue square is where we did the hike. But here's uh, this is Glacier National Park. Are you on a in, tour, or are you just? This is just a national park that you can go to. Yeah, you can you get, get pretty close to it. That's crazy. And they wow. said every year it's a it's a little smaller than it was the year before. So now's a good time to go see it before yeah, it's completely why is that? gone. Because you walked across it. <laughs> <laughs> that was all glacier yeah. <laughs> that's where i try to make a snow angel out there yeah that's where you stepped you go oh that part fell it's like 60 feet high i think and then it's like 17 kilometers deep which i still don't know how many miles that is but pretty deep so that's a huge glacier just chilling there mm. and every minute or so you hear just a huge piece fall into the water. It's pretty awesome out there, man. It was other people. Did you see other people? Or mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. This was an area everyone's coming up to get the view yeah. of it right here. So there's yeah. people from all over. You hear all the different languages. Yeah, that's your picture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that looks like uh, in a magazine. I yeah. Did you take your drone down there? Uh, no, I didn't take my drone, and I regretted it until they have pretty strict drone regulations everywhere I went. They're like, please, for the love of God, don't fly a drone oh, around. Yeah. So I wouldn't yeah. have been able to do much with it anyway. I would think, yeah, the, it's almost good, man. You don't need drone people. Or, <laughs> they're going to, y'all are kind of a problem. Like you just, you do it and you're like, uh, here we go. And you're just in the middle of a party and you're just looking at a <laughs> video game screen. <laughs> And you got to be like, hey, man, what's going on? He's like, I'm flying over your neighbor's house. Right now. Like, oh, that's cool, man. I can see the top of your roof. You may look at your roof, I guess, if you're flying up there. So I had, this is an animal that's, uh, it's basically like they're deer in parts of Argentina. Oh, wow. And they're called guanacos. They're basically llamas. And they can't be domesticated because they will just jump over fences. And you can't get too close to them. They'll spit at you. Wow. So these guys are just running all over the place. Now, when you're driving through rural Argentina, there's all these uh, ranches on either side with barbed wire fences, but they can't keep these guys in because they just jump over the fence. I mm. saw them jump over fences, but sometimes these guys will put their fences a little too high and these, <laughs> these guanacos will try to hop the fence and just get caught on the top. Ugh. I saw probably a hundred of these llamas just dead on the <laughs> oh, dead wow. on the fence because they couldn't jump high enough. Yeah. And some of them been there so long it was just a skeleton of these. Oh, just yeah. chilling on the top of the fence in like the middle of nowhere. Why are they not eating them? They do eat them. I had some guanaco. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all right. It's not bad. <laughs> what does uh <laughs> <laughs> how high would the fence like why don't they just go a little bit higher? Why don't they go, hey, yeah. the fence that has all the bodies on it Let's go up a little bit higher on that. Just another one. foot, and then yeah. we can domesticate them. Or, or well, I mean, it's it's funny though the, the answer they go. You can't domesticate them. You're like, why not? You're like, they jump over the fences. You're like, well, there's got to be a fence they can't get over. We're not, you know, you could go higher. I know it's it's a lot of fence to build. Yeah, yeah. but we could do it. How <laughs> how high is the fence that they can't jump over? No one knows. <laughs> yeah, like no, the, no, that that are getting them caught up. Typical, in. yeah, probably five or six feet. Yeah, go eight, maybe a little go taller eight. than that. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. eight. Look, I think you're right. I think they're figuring this stuff out. Well, this there. is uh, this is Nate's point. I mean, I'm I'm just yeah. jumping on it here. Ten, yeah. like your privacy fence. You just yeah. go a little higher. Yeah, you go yeah. ten feet. Some. Ten feet, turn mm -hmm. the fence inside out like his, and then mm -hmm. just yeah, boom. Well. I don't know if there's a big appetite to, to keep these things. I'm surprised you in. didn't bring that up down there. <laughs> That's Guanacas. Yeah, like I'm Guanacas, American. I know yeah. a little bit about building walls yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but it was very, very cool. It's beautiful. The whole trip. We were in Brazil for a wedding where they speak Portuguese. Who got married? My yeah. wife's brother yeah. married a girl from Brazil. Oh, wow. So it was half Portuguese. They don't speak any English, half English. They don't speak any Portuguese. So there's yeah. an interesting like dynamic in the group. The ceremony was kind of split in half. Yeah. Uh, most countries around South America, in my experience, was 
they all know a little bit of English. You go into a store, they know how to say hi or whatever. You know, it's like how yeah. we all know a little Spanish. Yeah. In Brazil, I think only 5% of the country knows any English. So you're really just on your own out there. Yeah. So my wife's family, I've said it before, is is Jewish. And her, the guy, the family that he's marrying into is Catholic. So it was like a half Catholic, half Jewish ceremony. And um, we did it at my wedding. It, it, it's a Jewish tradition where you break the glass on the ground. Do you remember yeah. we did that? Yeah. You put a glass between like a, a the middle of a blanket and you stomp mm -hmm. at it. And but then some, you go like, Opa! Yeah. yeah. But some inside baseball that it's common to to use something other than a glass. Like you, you we my wedding, we used a light bulb mm -hmm. just so you could crunch it and you're not going to break your foot trying to. So my brother-in-law texted me the day of the wedding and he was like, I need you to get me a light bulb. So I was like, all right. So I've been, I've been in Brazil. I don't speak any Portuguese, you know, and I got, I got to get a light bulb. So I look around my hotel room to steal one from the hotel room and they're all like plastic. They're not the kind you want. And I don't even know where to go to get a light bulb. Mm -hmm. You know, in America, you know, I know Home Depot. I know the stores where I, I don't know what anything is. And then you open up Google and Google's in Portuguese. So I got, I'm of like, no, I don't know where to go. You can't even translate? Well, you could. But okay. What I'm saying is it's it's more complicated oh. than it than yeah, it yeah. would be. I don't even know what kind of store yeah, has yeah, yeah. Babel. Use Babel. You could Babel. See, this is the thing. Babel is great for, or any of this language stuff. It's good for normal situations. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. I need to track down a light bulb so I can smash it. <laughs> for a Jewish ceremony yeah. in Sao Paulo, Brazil is anyway. So I, I, I Ubered to, uh, like a construction wholesale store and I'm inside the store and I've got Google translate open on my phone and I'm trying to tell the guy, it's like two guys playing charades in the middle of the store. I like, I need a light bulb and yeah. he types in like, what do you need light bulb for? And I'm like, I need light bulb to smash oh. <laughs> you know <laughs> such a crazy situation dude so we found anyway i got a real big one it was but it took like five How hours big? i mean a real big one wow real big one and it made a good noise when he smashed it i felt oh, good, good How would they use plastic light bulbs in hotels well it was like the an led light bulb or like half of it's plastic yeah. or they're like smart light bulbs yeah i wanted just like a just a glass one that you yeah. could really smash yeah. with your foot yeah. yeah, why did they use a light bulb? And what do you mean? On a glass would be it break your foot? It's a lot harder. It's harder than you think to uh, just break a like a glass, a drinking glass. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anything you can use to simulate that. I would yeah. think the thing to do would be try to just find a cheap glass. I would feel like that would be easier than going around Brazil trying to find a. You would think a light, light bulb, bulb though would be. I'd be curious to see if you could have got to light bulb quicker than you did. It took five hours. It did take a long time. Yeah. Was it scary carting around, uh, going from place to place in Brazil, trying to communicate with people and not being able to speak the language? A little bit when you're like, oh, nobody here knows any English and they don't care to. Yeah. You know, so I'm just I'm, I'm, I spent so much time just typing, holding stuff up. People were cool about it. Yeah. I walked into a gas station at like two in the morning. It's the night of the wedding. I'm wearing a suit. But, you know, like it's the time of night where like, the tie's a little undone. I look like a slob, right? So I go into this gas station and I grab gum and I knock, it knocks over the entire display. <laughs> <laughs> all, I mean, I'm not exaggerating, thousands of items like yeah. sprayed out all over the floor of this gas. Uh -huh. And I look up, it's just me and this Brazilian guy. Yeah. And I, all I know to say is, I'm sorry. So I just kept going, just sculpe, just sculpe. He's like, brother, you know, he's like, yeah. yeah. He and I got on the floor and picked all this up. It took a long time. Wow. But situations like that, you're like, I could explain myself. I could speak your language, but I how can't. Did, what, what would you have said, though? I mean, <laughs> how did you is. knock over? Big the, coat. <laughs> big coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I had a kid come up to me. The first night I'm there, I'm outside the bar, and there's a kid, probably nine. He walks up. He's got a bag of lollipops on him. And he walks up. You know, he's trying to sell the lollipops. Yeah. And he starts talking to me in Portuguese, and I go, I don't know. I just got here. I don't know any Portuguese. And he's trying to sell And I go, I don't know. And Give then, me some time. I'll learn he, that I just yeah, got yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> it's my first night here. Yeah. And he just grabs me. This kid, he like grabs my shirt like this. And he goes, 
money, 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 money. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, okay, much. So I take out my Google Translate and I go, I don't have any cash. Sorry, dude. And I hold it up to him. And then he grabs my phone, which they tell you, it's the number one thing they tell you not to do. <laughs> yeah. Just hand your phone to strangers like, uh, on the street. Don't give someone a microphone. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. When this kid, I feel like, you know, we, we had a good conversation, kind of. He grabs my phone. He types in, um, you don't have cash. Can you use picks? He keeps going, picks, picks, picks. And I go, I don't know what picks is. It's P-I-X. He types in P-I-X, and it translates just to P-I-X yeah. on the phone. Turns out picks is like their Venmo over uh, there. And I'm trying to translate what pick. Anyway, this is like a 30-minute interaction with this kid. So I gave him forty thousand dollars, which is like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what what the <laughs> Mr. Uber XL over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 40 yeah. No, the Brazilian dollar is twenty cents for a dollar, so everything's. So I gave so him you, like twenty bucks or something, which was wow. like five dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now anyway. gave him twenty dollars cash, American. A Brazilian dollar. Oh. Twenty Brazilian dollars. Yeah. So it was like five bucks on picks. Not on picks. I went and got cash. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. I talked to the kid for a while. Yeah. yeah. It was like an interesting interaction. I've never talked with a, a kid. He spoke no English. I spoke no Portuguese. And we, we just sat there and talked for a while. Now, I had a lot of conversations with nine-year-old Brazilian kids. <laughs> yeah. I have not, believe it or not. No, this I feels haven't. like, and it face seems to like face. this was yeah. a big bulk of your trip with just these three <laughs> things. Yeah. Like you, light bulb, five hours at least. The knocking over the gum was... Hour, two hours yeah, at least. Yeah, thousands this was a of thirty items. minute conversation. I mean, you're yeah. like, I don't even know. Then you had a wedding. Yeah, you're like Did I didn't you? even make the wedding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We hit it home. <laughs> yeah, then you hit it home. <laughs> Saw some dead guanacas. Yeah, it was it was very cool though, dude. And it was very cool to uh, from our hotel room in Argentina. It took me a long time to figure it out, but I was able to stream NBC and watch watch Saturday Night Live. All right, from the other side of the planet. Yeah, it was very cool. Uh, that's awesome. Anyway, so it's glad I'm glad to be back. Yeah, good to see everybody. Uh, <laughs> and ha- y'all went a bunch of other places. You stayed in the same hotel, or did you move or Sao Paulo for a few days, and then we went to Santiago, Chile. There you go. And then right. we went down to. Was a- it warm anywhere? Not really. Nowhere we were. Mm-hmm. It was all pretty chilly. Mm-hmm. Went to a big soccer Chile. Game. Chile. Chile. <laughs> 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 I went to uh, the Brazilian League soccer game, or fu- actually they call it Fuji Ball in Portuguese. Isn't that fun? Yeah. yeah. Fuji Ball. Packed out. It was like a last second tie. Crazy, crazy culture. Zero, zero. Yeah, uh, one to one. Yeah. One to one. But the, the, the tying goal was at the very end of the game, like wow. literally in stoppage time. Oh, wow. Uh, Is there assigned we- seats or you just find a seat? There's assigned seats. Yeah, we had a section That's up weird. here in the club seating. The middle, <laughs> middle times over there. You got to, so South- what, how do they do it? There? You got to fight someone for the seat? <laughs> All right, I'm asking that because Lu- that, Lucy told me y'all had to fight for what seats. What do you do there? You find a smaller man, <laughs> a young woman, and you just beat her for a seat? How do they – talk us through that, Aaron. <laughs> I think our group, we went with a big group from the wedding. We yeah. had a section. So, like, we individually didn't have seats, but we had a, oh, a section. So, you had to we fight had amongst yourself the, for yes, a seat. We had to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. So, yeah. all the people in Ch- Chile are like, ah, oh, America. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting for seats. They see Aaron walking in from 400 yards out. Oh, that guy's going to get, he goes sit wherever he wants to sit. Walk. You over here. He goes, he doesn't fit in our cars. <laughs> I want to play some of the game. And they go, you got to let him, dude. Look at him. He's a big guy, big. Uh, what seats were you talking about fighting? Lucy told me that at that match, y'all had to kind of fight your way in for seats. But I guess you just meant amongst your group it was packed in. Yeah, I don't really know what she meant by that. Okay. Probably wasn't trying to talk to you that long. <laughs> uh, just trying to kind of. Just moving along? Just kind of moving along. And then didn't expect it to be brought up ever again. <laughs> It was in passing. <laughs> uh, but man, very cool trip, like once in a lifetime type thing. You know, you never think you'll go and spend two weeks in South America. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So it was it was very special. But I'm happy, happy to be back. I was in Albany this weekend. Talk mm. about whiplash going That's from our, Patagonia yeah. to Albany, New York. That's our Chile. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you went straight. You came home. And I then, came home for a day or two. And yeah. Then, and then immediately flew. Yeah. yeah. Flew out. Yeah. We need a Google Translator there. 
<laughs> I felt like I did a couple yeah, yeah. times. Yeah, Albany is a bit redneck though. I like it. They got a bit of a uh, country vibe. Smallbany. That's what they kept calling it. You ever uh, heard that? No, it's uh, a pretty bad nickname, isn't it? Yeah, Smallbany. Yeah, it would. It would. It seems like someone making fun of them. It is, but they've kind of embraced it yeah. in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked it. I walked to a grocery store there, and and I was like, oh, they're pretty country in here. I'm like, I fit right in up in there. Yeah. What grocery store did you go to? I, I don't know. It was just down the way from the hotel. <laughs> it was. I don't remember the name. It wasn't. Okay. It wasn't a Publix or a Harris Teeter. Oh, there you go. You know. Yeah. Trader Joe's. Times. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed to get a good time <laughs> up there. I, if I can walk to a grocery store, it's a good time. Yeah. <laughs> you know. With your shirt off. Yeah. 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 When you're a motel and you're already outside, and then you go walk to the grocery store. Exactly. Fire I, up the hot a, plate. I could feel like you asked for. When they try to put you in a hotel, you're like, I'd like my door to be outside. Yeah. Can I get, yeah. Can the outdoor be my patio? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You go, how quick do you want to get to your car? Pretty quick. Yeah. 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 I, I say, I want to open the door. I want to get up in the morning and open the door. Like you would like a motel. Like are the, the, in theory. The I idea. do. Yeah. I do like that. I would like them to be cleaner and safer, but yeah. uh, I like the idea. Like if, if I go to a hotel and they're like, what floor? I'm like, can I be on the first floor? Mm-hmm. I don't want to go to the elevator every time. Yeah. You can take steps too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Second floor. <laughs> I sometimes take the first floor. You're just, you're worried. You know, you're like, you're just, if you forget to unlock, set lock something, like you're just there. You're oh, out. Yeah. But I do like a first floor. It's always is very nice when you're just like staying a first floor. Do women prefer the first floor or the other? There's one that's safer than the other. I don't know. Brian? <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I saw that coming. You felt yeah. it coming. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, here we go. Let's just let yeah. him finish. I can't remember what the logic. You could convince no, me either way is more safe. Wait, I, they first, say what? Say it again. One is more safe to be on the first floor or on a higher floor. I think higher floor. Higher floor. Okay. So they, somebody can't break through your window from yeah. the ground. Oh, okay. That makes perfect yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever uh, stayed multiple nights in different, like in a different city and then forget what your room number is? No, yeah. I just did that. I, I was in Chicago and this girl got in the elevator at the same time as me and I was fumbling for my key and I was like, by the buttons, I was like, oh, what floor? She goes, you know, 19. So I hit 19 and then I find my key and I'm like, I was like, oh, I'm 19 too. I was like, and then I'm like worried that she thinks I'm going to be following her. Mm. So I'm like, but you see, I am 19 here, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like trying to explain to her because she was like a young girl. And I, yeah. and then I was like, you, I'll go first if you want so that you know that I'm not following you. <laughs> and I made it so weird. Yeah. Yeah. But I just was like, God, it just seems, it, it just got so weird. Yeah. And I think she was even like, it's okay. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like, you, you just be like, oh, I'm 19 too. I did that with uh, the girl from Outback that's Leanne's promoter. Outback promoter, yeah. And we got back to the hotel, and she had a friend with her, and she's 20-something years old. And uh, I was like, what floor? Same thing, 6'4". I am too. And then I was like, what's y'all's room number? And she's like, 6'4". I'm like, I'm 602. And they're like, what are the odds? You know. And we walk all the way, and we get there. <laughs> she's here, and I'm here. And I'm doing my key card, and it's not working. <laughs> And it looks like I just uh, yeah. followed her the whole way. I'm like, yeah. oh, I, my key card's not working. Can I come into yours? And <laughs> it was from the night before. Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so you were, at a, you were, were you in that room? The night before, I was in 602. Uh, my point yeah. is, when you're in a different hotel every night, yeah, you yeah, forget. Yeah. Right. But what, it, what? it was a long conversation of what are the coincidences? We're on the same floor this across the from each other. And it looked like I just made it all up. And the, what, what, what was your room? Uh, 1845 or something. I don't know. What it, it was a different floor. Would it have been a crazy wow. coincidence for two people in town for the same event with booked in the same reservation to have rooms next to each no. other? No. Doesn't sound like that. We crazy. tried to put everybody in ours pretty much next to each other. In her case, for whatever reason, she didn't book it through. Yeah, yeah. Us. The Outback okay. books their own thing. So you're not really sometimes doing she it. doesn't even stay at the same hotel as Leanne. Oh, yeah. Okay. But in this case she was, and then I thought across from me, but yeah. I was checking in a hotel and the guy in front of me was being kind of a creep to the it's like a pretty younger woman working the desk. Mm-hmm. And she goes, Do you have any preference of floors? And he goes, What floor are you staying on? Uh, oh, and she goes, I don't 
I work here. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm not staying at the hotel, yeah. you idiot. Yeah. He's like, okay, I'll take floor three. <laughs> yeah. Which is what a terrible line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What floor are you staying That's stay how you on? start in the stay. Yeah. You got to pass her every time you go through the lobby. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what floor are you staying on? I have a house. Yeah. I live I live in town. I don't live <laughs> at the hotel I work at. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> You should have been and gone right behind him and go, that, I can't believe that guy. Like, if you stayed here, what floor would <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Where do you live? Yeah. 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 You just go, what a ridiculous thing. What's your, what part of neighbor do you live? <laughs> she asked for your phone number. What's your yeah. phone number? Yeah. <laughs> Dusty, you want to tell us about AG1? Oh, yeah. If you're a big, <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my voice. <laughs> If you're a big Nate Land fan, you know that we have been drinking AG1 for a couple of years. We all started drinking AG1 daily and really feel like we're doing something good to cover all our nutritional bases. That's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, stress management, and immune support. Since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition, continuously refining their formula to create a smarter, better way to elevate your baseline health. I replaced my multivitamin with AG1. I replaced Mm -hmm. my multivitamin with AG1 because it is much easier to mix one scoop of powder in water once a day than to remember to take a bunch of different things. It takes under a minute and costs less than $3 a day and tastes great. Since we travel so often, we use the single serving travel packs so we never have to miss a day when we're on the road. You can get free monthly deliveries to make it even easier. If you want to take ownership of your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash Nate. That's ag1.com slash Nate. Check it out. Mm. They put some big words in there. I didn't realize New Zealand was that close either. I think it's that still be, pretty far. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's But far, if you took off left, yeah, that'd be the first thing you run I mean, into. I was in New Zealand, and you're just like right there. You could have just hopped over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quick swim. <laughs> uh, is uh, is it warm? It's got to be warm up around. Oh, so around like Sao so Paulo is like down here. Yeah. Yeah, right there. So it probably gets warm up at, right. I guess, the equator. Yeah. Like when you're right around there, it's like nice all year. Mm-hmm. And then you're kind of writing. We're we're a little bit we're close to the equator, closer than you think. Way closer head. than you think. Yeah. When you see it like out, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't know the equator was so far down. I was thinking it was more in Mexico. Yeah. I thought it was in the middle. Yeah. Of Mexico? No, just of the world. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. Right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're like, I didn't know the middle was so far. Yeah, it's in yeah. the middle. Well, I thought Mexico was like the middle. Oh, the middle yeah. of the, gl- okay. Yeah. Yeah, like then Be careful South about America. my words here. <laughs> the, of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it'd be like Mexico, and then you think South America would be like its own thing down there. <laughs> been, is, El, is that El Salvador, South America, or no? Yeah, I think so. Right? Or is uh, that... Yeah, where is it? I think it's right on in Mexico. You think El Salvador is in Mexico? Like, yeah, Honduras, because El Salvador is next to Honduras. Right there here, is. right here. Yeah, oh. yeah. So, Ooh, that was embarrassing for those watching. I didn't know. I didn't know where it was. Yeah, so I never. We can't know uh, the whole everything. It's a big no, world, dude. Yeah, it's a big world. But uh, yeah, so I don't know if I've. I don't think I've ever been to South America. Well, I mean, it's that's Central America, but I think it might technically be part of the continent of South America. I don't know where the cutoff mm. is. It's fun. Yeah. Well, it's all. Anyway, hope those stories stuff, weren't boring. Stuff. It was just so much was happening. I was just thinking about. It yeah. was great. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. wait to hear about it. I yeah. couldn't. Yeah. I mean, I think been- it's good we got it done with. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> it's uh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That was, yeah. was really cool. Yeah. I thought it was fun. I thought the light bulb, the light bulb thing, was funny to me. And it must have felt good yeah. that you accomplished it, right? It's such a. I was like so proud that I tracked down a good yeah. light bulb, and then. It's it such worked? a small part of the ceremony. Nobody really cared. You did it. I, it. I was proud of it. It does seem like the kind of story that like you finally show up with the light bulb and they're like, oh, we got one. 
Oh, you've been looking for one this whole time? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We, we got one here. Oh, yeah. Five minutes after we asked you, we have yeah. found one. Yeah, yeah, we didn't know it'd be that big of a thing. So. <laughs> Did you get like a garage light bulb? Like I don't a flood know. Light? It was no, it was a big circular kind of traditional looking yeah. light bulb. It's like yeah. that's like your super Does bad. Does it say moment. glass? You finally on show it? up with the alcohol. You just know it's I took it out and I held it and I felt yeah. it with the guy. Smacked <laughs> you st- stopped on one and you go, this is perfect. Yeah. But I'm sm- fake smashing it with the guy yeah. in the th- in the uh in the store. To but the, it, you know what it reminded me of? I remember in college once at, on a tailgate, I thought I would be the man and go to McDonald's and get, and get like 50 breakfast sandwiches and then show up to the tailgate and oh, have yeah. food for everybody. And I showed up and dude, nobody <laughs> Oh, I walked yeah. out. I was like, I got breakfast. Everyone's like, oh, cool. Nobody ate it, any of it. Uh, I felt like such a moron. Really? Like, that yeah, one, yeah, yeah. 50, I would you get 50 egg McMuffins? Yeah, or just like whatever the dollar. When was this? This oh. was in college. I'd get a new friend group. This yeah. is the money yeah. this guy has. <laughs> I know. I mean, that was college. <laughs> I know. Anybody just out on a whim and goes by 50 What was that? What was that? Four grand? <laughs> yeah. How, much? how do your friends not care either? It's like you yeah. gotta eat an egg McMuffin just cause you brought it. No, you just have this vision in your mind of you're like you're yeah. the hero when well, you show Bert, up with yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's just it's never that. In my mind, you are the hero though. Oh, thanks, dude. Bring yeah, it. I would think that'd be pretty aw- what time yeah. was the tailgate? This is early, I don't know, eight or nine. No one ate them? Like they, they, maybe like you know you people. pick out you expect them to swarm to the bags you college know? kids i, I would know. think is there other food there i would honestly yeah, think there's other could, stuff going on any college That's you could just drive at any time and just throw 50 egg muffins at any of their faces yeah. and, and they would they'd be gone in two Look, seconds i agree with you I, that's how i would have behaved That's a, yeah. somebody showed up with all that yeah so, yeah because yeah. i mean college kids i always like when you if you can if you see some young and you're like you want some food like college because the, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll eat. They're eat at any time. Yes, and whatever. Whatever. No concern of uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, w- yeah. what they've already eaten that day or anything. Yeah. yeah. Did you take them they're with the you? Best, that's the best age to feed <laughs> because they will eat anything. <laughs> Do they just go to waste? Or? I don't know. They, just, just, sat, they just sat there. No. I would have tore it up back yeah. then. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks, man. <sighs> crazy, man. Sorry about that. I it's been, all good? I'd been drinking in the morning, and I'd be like, all right, let's get it going. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Notre Dame screwed me this weekend. So yeah, really yeah. sorry about that, man. Can't be betting against Clemson out here. No, no. They had four losses. What was your record? Well, we should have beaten them. Well, uh, can't be doing. Do it, you know though. what your record was from game day? College game day. If yeah. you don't know, I was on college game day. There he is, getting off his private jet. Insane. Yeah. I was telling Brian, this felt like a bigger deal to me than SNL. I know it's not, or what, I don't know. It's crazy. But this is no, this show is a bigger part of my yeah. life than oh, yeah. SNL yeah. ever was. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even see any of that stuff. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> you're like, I come out. I was then, hoping you'd wear your flowery jacket. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so they, uh, I didn't really know. They're like, they show you get off the plane. So they tell you, like, you know, like I get off and then everybody else will get off after me. Uh, so I thought, I, in my head, I thought the camera would be like right at the, so when I come out, I'm looking, I'm like, well, there's not even a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I go, well, like, uh, where's the camera? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. And so it takes me a second to find it. And then uh, and then I found it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And then, uh, yeah. So, yeah, went down there. That got up. At, I went, I mean, we our show the night before ended at 1130 midnight. You know, slept, got back to the room by the time I slept probably three hours. Got up at 630, go to the airport. Uh, they fly you. Uh, and then uh, you land, and I had the theory. I was trying to like, because I mean, I got asked to do this. Uh, it was like uh, Herb Street texted a, a mutual someone we know mutually, Kirk like, Herb Street. Kirk Herb Street. Like we have not met. I've not met Kirk Herb Street, but we but we know a lot of the same people and so. stuff. And so, like, I was getting asked, kind of mutually through that. And then in my head, I'm like, man, I thought they would do it. I thought it just would happen some other way. And this was, mm-hmm. uh, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday when I when they were like, hey, do you want to come down? And so I was like, uh, okay. And I'm mean, at a four o'clock show in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Uh, for the and so I they they we you know got up six thirty. I mean, it, they they it's unreal. You fly down there, you get a police escort. Uh, you go in there and you you know. Go in there, you do do your picks and stuff. Uh, 
you know, I was a little nervous with college fans because college football fans can be just insane people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much, I mean, we're all college football fans, but like there's a and level. In Tuscaloosa. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And so there, you know, I know people are like, well, why do you have someone that has nothing to do with Alabama? Mm-hmm. Even though my wife's from Alabama and my yeah. wife's an Alabama fan. Yeah. But it, it, but that's not why they did. It. I don't know. I don't know. Does everybody have some reason they're with whoever? I don't think anymore. Uh, yeah, they had. Uh, um, Eric Stone Street's done it a couple times, I think. And one time it was for just some very random team, maybe Clemson or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, I almost said last week you've done your part to get after SNL to get to the level where if Vandy can get their act together, yeah. you could be the guest picker. Yeah. It never crossed my mind. You would be it for somebody other than Vandy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think it's obviously, uh, this, this past couple weeks have been crazy. Yeah. So it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it, yeah, it's like, man, that's why I got asked, but that's why I did want to make sure that, it was, you know, like we and I had Bates and Vecchio and Vita. Like, I was like, hey, let's just try to come up with some jokes. Uh, you know, I was like, at least put we put effort into it. Yeah. To go, when I give these. You eat. did have good jokes for every Yeah, pick. I thought so, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. We got. Uh, uh, Who wrote Bad the Rudy? Bates. Who wrote the Rudy joke? Uh, I said, I made yeah. that up yeah. on, uh, on On the, the fly? Spot. Yeah. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, maybe I made it. Trying to compliment your writing. Like, no, nah, I riffed that. <laughs> no, no, no. I made, It was in the van. Okay. On the way there. Yeah. I came up with that. The one I came out on the spot was Oklahoma's the new Vanderbilt. That's the one that got a little track. Got a, little, yeah. a little heat on that one. Yeah, yeah. That's the one that I came up like in the moment. It was just, I mean, look, you're going, uh, <laughs> who's this clown on college called OU oh, the next band? Yeah. <laughs> well, then they lost later that day. They did. Oh, did. They yeah. did. I got that yeah. pick right. That's yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 like that, that mindset of that person. You want to go, I get it. I mean, you want to go like, what do you think? Is would you honestly think I'm just there? Mm. And, you know, it's like it's it's really like in the line below it. Her, it's great. He was joking. He's a Vandy fan. Uh, oh, Rosa Loper there, yeah. getting it coming in. He knows that's not true, and he is an awesome comedian. Mm-hmm. Like it's like yeah, it's it's, Rosa it's debatable. It. It's debatable if it's true or not. I mean, <laughs> that's yet to be seen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that. I mean, yeah, mm. it, a going, lot would have to change. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe it will yeah. next year. Yeah. I hope it does. There's but a the, great chance, uh, though, that Vandy does get beat by Oklahoma, and then I get to hear all that. But with the transfer portal, who knows? Yeah, you know? that's right. Vanderbilt could pick up a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Deion Sanders could come and come. It was. I just who thought of it. I, I said it because it was. Uh, it was like, oh, this will be funny. I'm in. Alabama, LSU, SEC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, so it's the new, uh, you know, the new school coming to. And our in Texas, I I, I picked Texas for Bucky's because I yes. said they gave us Bucky's. So I I couldn't. There was really no reason why I wasn't picking Oklahoma. I didn't really have a great joke. I had like an, something, but then I was like, oh, you know what? And I just like I'll just say this, and then I figured like you know I'm doing. You got Alabama, LSU there. Yeah. It's uh, but yeah, it was all. I had a joke for we come. I had a joke for every. Pick. And did, am I remembering cor- uh, correctly? Did you get a not so fast, my friend from from Lee I got Corso? Right out of the gate, right That's out of the gate. iconic. That's dude. iconic. It is yeah. not so fast, my friend. I was oh, very happy so cool. to get that. Yeah. That, was, that was the Vandy Auburn pick. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I go, I go Vandy because they pit they I, they wouldn't have picked Vandy Auburn game, but I was there. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I said Vandy, and so I got he not so fast, my friend. And then yeah, it was very nice. yeah, I was yeah. there was very cool. Yeah, uh, he seems completely yeah. in, in unhinged, uh, Lee Corso. He seems insane. He's, well, he's it's, yeah, he's been doing it a long, yeah. long time, long time. I mean, I um, like it, but he seems he seems insane. Well, he's just old, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's older. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you went in for the handshake. He, didn't, he wasn't he quite does, clear though. on what to do there. <laughs> oh yeah, I did try to get a handshake, and he didn't give it. I don't. I mean, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I don't know who you are. Well, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he is feeling. There's a lot of stuff for. I mean, he's yeah. like yeah. just kind of, you know. Uh, Another funny joke you had was when it was Air Force versus Army. Army, and they said I pick America, and it changed your it changed it to an American flag yeah. on the screen. 
That was cool. Yeah, yeah. I asked him to uh, do that the night before. I was like, "Can you have my? Can you have my thing be America?" And so then they had all of them be. It was mm-hmm. America versus Air Force. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so mm-hmm. it came out. Yeah. And then I took yeah, and then so I took America. And some guy tried to tell, like, there was, like, someone told me that there's a guy that, like, keeps track of the picks. So, saying, like, I was, like, seven and four because I picked the Air Force, but I, I picked America, so I didn't really pick anybody mm-hmm. that picked. But I it was, thought it was uh, very funny that it was, uh, that I mean, I didn't know they were going to do what they did until mm-hmm. it was there. And then Kirk Herbstreit had to be like, well, man, I can't not pick the <laughs> I American flag. I guess I got to pick flag. America, too, yeah. Yeah, and so... <laughs> It was like, that was like dumb and fun. Cause I mean, they, you know, it's like, it's one of those trying not to take serious where you want to go like, well, I got some real opinions about, you're like, right. well, who am I, dude? Yeah. You, would you want to hear my opinions on Clemson, Notre Dame? Right. You want to hear my, like, who cares yeah. what I think about? I don't get to watch stuff as like I used to. Like, yeah. so I want to go and just have a joke. I'm going to pick Vandy to win everything. Yeah. And then I'm going to have a joke for, Every other one. Yeah, I think you did a good job finding the balance between like not taking it too seriously, but also like respecting what it is and not acting yeah. like you're above it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you want to do. I always think it would be fun to have some form of public shaming for all the people that pick and they're like, they try, you know, they're like so serious and they're like, I know who's going to win these games. So when they're wrong, have like next week, you know, they have to come yeah. out and, and be accountable for what they picked. Yeah. That's what I think. <laughs> That's take that, a different turn. Yeah, yeah. that's what I, I like. Talk about putting them in that thing where your head and your hands. <laughs> yeah, because they're the so they square. come so hard with it. They're like they got all these information, all these facts, and they're like, "This is how I know this is going to happen." And then when it doesn't, I think there should be some accountability. Mm-hmm. Well, game day's not too bad like that. Yeah, they go pretty fast, rapid yeah. fire. Yeah, maybe not game day, but some of the others. You saying you think Nate should be held accountable <laughs> yeah. for picking Vanderbilt over yeah. Auburn? <laughs> And, uh, you know, but like, uh, you know, like a Colin Cowherd, you know, yeah, yeah. he does it a little bit himself, a little co- where Colin was right, where Colin was wrong. But, uh, you know, I think it'd be fun. Fun. Uh, you, I mean, you, you, I wouldn't even know if you would know who Colin Cowherd is. Yeah, that's my, yeah, I used to listen to him all the time. always surprises all of us when you <laughs> yeah. drop any kind of sports knowledge whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, you, you've had a run right here that I thought, <laughs> uh, the fact that you knew Notre Dame played Clemson, I was yeah. surprised at. yeah. Someone pointed out that uh, you mentioned you made a joke about Coast Guard getting yeah. a team. They have a team. Oh yeah, they play like Division Three. Oh, that's awesome. I had no idea. Yeah, you know what? I might have seen that, and they're like good, right? I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Coast Guard joke was, uh, yeah, we thought that was we thought that not the night before. Uh, the other one, the Dabo thing. I didn't know Dabo had that Tyler and Spartanburgs. Like, mm-hmm. we found that out <clears throat> uh, when I was there. Like. Um, um, I, I, I'm blanking on everybody's name, but he was like, you know, it was a young question about because we were just trying to make jokes about it, and then it, he told us because none of us knew that that they played that all week, they've already talked about it. He yelled at it, so that's why I was like, I love the way Dabo talks to children, yeah, yeah, you know, it's that got like a just, big laugh from everybody, yeah, too, yeah, reference on the Joey panel. Freshwater, yeah, that reference. got a big laugh, yeah. Yeah, he was trying to give some like it's only is very inside. Yes, like they're You're letting people know I'm actually a college football fan. Yeah, I yeah. know what's going on. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it, yeah, but it was awesome. I mean, it was, yeah, super cool. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been yeah, it's been a a, a crazy. And, and then you guys immediately get on a plane and head right back to Chicago. Uh, yeah, get on. Uh, yeah, they you do the picks. Laura came down. We get. They get tickets. Laura got tickets to the game, so I uh, came down, got to see her for a second. Then I the escort back to the plane. I take off, land uh, like two, probably got about something like that. Got to the hotel like two thirty. Took a shower, did a show at four, <laughs> and then a show at seven, and then two yeah. the next day. It's a pretty crazy day. It was a crazy uh, weekend. Yeah, it was. It went to Jake Melnick's that night. The restaurant I used to work at, and yeah, it was a crazy. Uh, it was a crazy day. Someone said that you're maybe Times Magazine's looking at you for Man of the Year. Yeah. Have you heard that? No. Uh, I mean, yeah. person, <laughs> person, of person of the year. year excuse me. <laughs> yeah. My Delta is the problem, not me. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's from uh, Aaron Davis, I believe is his name. Yeah, I mean, let's keep yeah. it going, you know? Let's yeah. keep, um, you know, 
Keep your star rising here. Yeah, where do you go from here? We'll all milk and, uh, it I'm off doing, to the uh, side. I'm presenting award at CMAs. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. Wow. Do you know which one you're presenting? I do. Am I allowed to say? I don't know. It's happening tonight. Yeah. Yeah, male vocalist of the year. Ooh, right. that's a big that's one. A huge one. That's big time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the last ones they give out. I think, yeah. And these names will be easier to pronounce than the Grammys. I well, think. yeah, it's like, yeah, the nominees are like Morgan Wallen and yeah. Jelly Roll and uh, I forget. I hope Jason Jelly Roll wins. There. That's yeah. our friend. We all know Jelly Roll. Yeah. I hope he wins. He's a great guy. Yeah. From here. That'd be fun. What if Morgan Wallen won and then he came out and he's still mad at you about breaking his record <laughs> and he well, shoves you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That would Go to commercial. Fun. Go to commercial. Yeah. I think I'm making a joke about that record. Mm. Like that was a, kind of the. Okay. Thing. Okay. Yeah, it's like the yeah. I'm, I'll make it. Yeah, the joke is referencing the. I've talked about it before on you know, in other interviews, but it works. I think really good with this thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing a joke about that. So we'll see. I mean, I see. I've never met him. So, Ooh. and maybe I won't this time either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like meet Jelly Roll again. Yeah. Yeah. Je yeah. Jelly Roll is great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he performed at Zany's a bunch. Uh, I, yeah. I hope he wins it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. he sang for my mom one time outside of Zany's oh yeah, yeah. You, should wow. that, you should tell that story <laughs> well my you know my mom just went to see me do comedy at a show and it was Josh Wolf's show that he used to do and it was a real dirty show <laughs> so um, even people that had opened for me in the past that my mom had seen they were on the show Chance Willie is mainly who I'm talking about he <laughs> did clean opening for my show but now super <laughs> yeah, dirty yeah. on this show and so my mom was ready to leave. So <laughs> yeah. uh, not because of chance, just in general. Just in general. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we were leaving and Jelly Roll was out outside and he goes, uh, he goes, <laughs> you going to leave before I sing? He goes, I sing real good. And she goes, well, sing a couple of bars. <laughs> yeah. And so he sings and she goes, that's pretty good. And then yeah. we left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> does she know who he was? I don't think so. She yeah. does yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, but this was, you know, this was a few years yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's just funny to literally be sung to and you're like, All right, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. By Jelly Roll, I mean, who is a massive star now. Yeah. I mean, at the time, he was doing some big things, but yeah. um, he's a massive star now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he sang to my mom outside of Zany's, and, you know, uh, I Not impressed. It. She was not impressed. Yeah, you know, I think she liked it, but she's like, yeah, I'm ready to go, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's fun. Jelly Roll's always been nice to me. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a really, really sweet person. Uh, is that it? Y'all want to? Yeah. No, I was. Uh... Oh, I wanted to say something. Oh, okay. Uh, it seems more serious now. <laughs> yeah. But this is something I feel like I, is a decathlon where you do four events. Decathlon is where you do ten. What do you? What What is it when you do four? Is there a four? A -thon. <laughs> what is it? A quadathon? <laughs> yeah. See, I was thinking triathlon because I did three things mm -hmm. right of comedy this weekend, but I actually did four. But I think it's fun. I, I went to Chicago. I did a theater show. Then after the theater show, I did a, I judged a roast battle. And then on Friday, I did a corporate event. And on Saturday, I did a comedy club. So I did like, mm, I did like stuff. all the things in comedy in one weekend. Mm -hmm. And I went to Oklahoma City. It was great. I performed a corporate gig for the Oklahoma uh, Department of Transportation. Some previous speakers uh, were, well, yeah, <laughs> That's what I was some previous speakers were, uh, President George W. Bush, yeah. uh, Peyton Manning. So I said, I guess it's not going well now, huh? Yeah. I mean, you really dropped yeah. off here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was a hot show. So. Yeah. Wow. They were pumped I was there. Yeah. God, yeah, man. It's fun. It was a hot show. A lot of Nate Land listeners out there. Oh, oh cool. yeah. I did Bricktown, cool. Bricktown in Oklahoma City. They mm. loved it. Yeah. A lot of Nate Land people all over the place out yeah. here. The good people. But yeah. We got uh, this from a fan. Um, let me hold this up. <laughs> Hello, folks in Hay Bear. We've got a painting. All right. Uh, what is it? The colorblind painter? I guess so. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I see Aaron, Nate, and me. Who's that other guy? There? <laughs> <laughs> it's been pointed out by more than one person. That maybe that's not the best of me, but uh, I, you guys look great. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I think it looks great. Uh, you might not think it's good, Brian, but there's zero confusion of who that is in that painting. I'll say that. <laughs> I mean Justin that's unbelievable. Maggard. That's that's uh I mean that's an original, no tracing, huh? No, no. Uh he did a great job with yeah, me. I'll Justin say that. Yeah, you look great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dusty, I, you look. I look I'm 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 very I you feel look like great. mine's updated. 
Mm-hmm. My an updated look. Mm-hmm. Look at that hair blowing in the breeze. I yeah, got, though, Dusty though. looked like the cover of a of a novel. Yeah, I'm yeah. a big fan of this poster. Yeah, so am I. So thank you. I am too. I uh, so cool. let's try to put Brian in there next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My birthday was Friday, and I almost oh, happy birthday! Yeah. All right, yeah, happy you. birthday, What's up, dude. I called him. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> what we gonna say something else about that? Yeah, I'm coming around to you on this painting though. That it's spot on. Yeah, just I'm. The more I look at it, the, like if you look at it if you're, for a while, you go, maybe Brian's the best one. It yeah. did capture the smile. It does yeah. capture yeah. the smile. All right, yeah. that's fair. The essence. Um, Abby called me Friday afternoon to say um, we want to post a picture of you and Nate on the. Uh, social media but we can't find a good one <laughs> we found one and i saw the picture and she sent me i thought i look pretty good this and she said but you look bad <laughs> so do you have any of your own so i had to dig right. through my old social media yeah. to find one of us but it's so funny the photo that i thought looked perfectly good she was like you look rough in this so you sure you want to post oh, that <laughs> you're yeah. like i thought it was great yeah. oh you thought <laughs> it's not the one you posted no, it was another one she sent me that I thought you found. I wish we could yeah. see that picture. Well, yeah, do we have that? Now you don't want anybody to see it. I don't want anybody that. to see it because yeah. I don't want to agree with her. But uh, Is it by the colorblind photographer? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so anyway. <laughs> I regret that one. Mm. No, it's quite all right. It's already out there. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my birthday was, uh, was Friday. Did uh-huh. the Opry. Uh, oh, on your birthday. Not on my birthday, but the uh, mm-hmm. night before. And- Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I guess it like, sounds like it's sad. Yeah. Oh, wow. On your birthday. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where'd you go eat on your birthday? Uh, Jim and Nick's. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. This is good. Yeah. Nothing right. special, but it's it's nice. Oh, yeah. it's special. Cool. They it's bring pretty pricey something? at Jim and Nick's, so that's it's special. That's almost a fancy dinner there. I was like, let's do the Aaron Weber meal sometimes. Let's <laughs> live it up. Yeah. What's the Aaron Weber mill? Well, I'm just, we got a th- trend going on today about Aaron having money, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know that. I mean, you gave blood in college, right? Just to make plasma. ends meet. Plasma. Yeah. So. You had to go buy $50 <laughs> worth of. <coughs> no, 50. Sh- yeah. Well, you I showed up dollars. and you're I mean, like, I gave plasma for this. It'd probably be 60, 70 bucks. Yeah. With tax and everything. Yeah. 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 You're all that. weak because you gave plasma for it <laughs> and nobody eats it. Mm-hmm. You're still bleeding out a little bit. <laughs> oh, hey, thanks, man. Somebody get in on this. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, I just, well, I just worked out. I don't want to waste it. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> oh, guess who brought, someone goes, they don't even go. They go, oh, I see Aaron brought McDonald's. For and, they, and everybody doesn't even know. <laughs> they go, well, we didn't say who brought it. He goes, well, I, mean, I just figured Aaron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aaron brought it. <laughs> what are you boys doing? 50. <laughs> uh, before we start that, you want to do a sponsor? Yeah. yeah. I had, you can talk about eating. I have, I have, I'm a mess with eating. I did my own Krispy Kreme challenge today. <laughs> <laughs> By How'd you do? How'd By you myself do? eight. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. I think I did more than I oh. did. <laughs> That's a mix wild. of chocolate and, yeah, it's not good. It, even it's as honestly a, not good. Even as a drinker, I never ate six, eight Krispy Kremes at one time. Oh, I just I woke mean, up. That's... And, I mean, I'm in a I'm in a dark spot right now. With food. Wow. I got. I mean, I, I was down <laughs> 160. I'm back to like 184. I'm back up to 24 pounds. Mm. I got. I got to go back down. You'll be ordering Uber XL before you know. Yeah. It, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm on the way. Yeah. yeah. You need I, better yeah. help. I need better help. I do. I need to go talk to someone about it because I eat. it's the stress or it's something that I can't like. To, I wake up and it's like uh, it, it's it's you want to do something that's not. I don't know. It's, it's not even like I even want this food. That's the hard part. It's not like I want it. I don't want it. But you just are, do you feel you like your life is moving a million miles an hour? And this is one of the few areas where you're in total so. control over I what's think happening. So. Yeah. And so better help is a perfect thing to do. Therapy can be a bright spot in all of the stress and change. Something to look forward to to make you feel grounded and then give you some tools to manage everything is going on. Uh, it is entirely online, text, chat, phone, video, convenient, flexible. That stuff is good. It's like just commit to doing it. Uh, talk this stuff out. Someone like that, I wouldn't even talk to someone about, about being like, why am I eating all this bad food and i can't stop uh just fill out a short questionnaire and get matched with a licensed 
uh, therapist. Uh, this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. And see at the top. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Nate to get today to get 10% off your first month. That is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Nate. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really, I, this weekend was like, I just had like gummy bears and I just can't, it's tough. Uh, was Eric with you? Yeah. But I mean, he'll just, if, you know, I mean, you can't, you know, like I'll just grab a little mini bar of gummy bears and mm-hmm. it's, it's really, uh, it's, it's crazy. Cause it's like, you just can't, I can't not do it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do it. And then you just can't. It's, you know, I thought about like we were in Chicago and I saw a McDonald's. And uh, I was like, oh, I used to always go to that McDonald's when I was in Chicago. And uh, I was like thinking, I wonder why I went to that Mc-. You know, I was like, I bet I did just because it's like, I know what that is. I'm not, I'm overwhelmed with everything because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I was just starting comedy. I'm in Chicago. I'm like, there's so much going on. Mm-hmm. And, but I know what that McDonald's, I know what's in there. And so I wonder if it's like, that's what makes you go there. Cause you're just like, well, I know that. Yes. I don't want to go yeah. to a restaurant cause I'm ner- You know, I'm nervous with just living in Chicago. So it's like you go to some fancy restaurant and you're like, well, I don't, I can't even say these words on the menu mm-hmm. and I feel embarrassed and I don't like it, but I know that I can, I just go there and I'll mm-hmm. eat there. Cause I can just, I think it's the same reason people will rewatch the office yeah. 15 times instead of trying a new show. Mm-hmm. Cause there is comfort and mm-hmm. yeah. you know exactly what's going to happen. You're familiar there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's all corporations thing. feel like that. Even if you go to a different city and you're like, but you walk into a target, you're yeah. like, all right, this is, all right, I'm home. Yeah, yeah. I know what I'm, I know. Yeah. This feels normal. That was the scary part of trying to find the light bulb. I don't even oh, know. Yeah. I don't even know yeah, what yeah. kind of store to that look for. That would be, yeah. yeah. She went to McDonald's. <laughs> Did you eat McDonald's down there? I got McDonald's at the airport in Argentina. That's fun. It's pretty good. It's good. They yeah. sell just tubs of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Melted? Yeah. I didn't get one. Yeah, but like nacho cheese, they just sell tubs of it. With chips? You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. They don't They don't give you really instructions. You I just bad get- last night, too, when I got home. Huh. I had Wendy's. Ooh, I mean, uh, it was good though, right? It was man. <laughs> it was crazy. I got a frosty, dip their fries oh, in that oh, frosty, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, that is something. good. It's just that something. Could be the move. That's a good move, man. It's a good move. <laughs> uh, comments Vicky Butler. As excited as I was to watch SNL, I was just excited for this episode. I couldn't wait for all the blow by blow details and to share in the experience vicariously. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it, right? Vicarious. Right? Vicariously. Vicariously. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, Vicky coming in with the big words here. Vicky with the V. That's maybe that's what sent me down the vicarious. Yeah. Right. Because right. yep. you're already thinking V's. Yeah, I was already yeah. down. I was halfway there. Uh, thank you, Vicky. Uh, Barry Berkman. When they use kids in the skits, such as the Fran Drescher Halloween one, who are the kids? Are they actors or kids of the cast? <laughs> uh, they're actors. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny to me. Yeah. That you would just think they, that actors would just bring their who kids Who are the down kids? That. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. That's what that it's, it's uh, it would be, it, yeah, it would be very funny to be, you just go in there and go like, who are these kids? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what? Because that's my son. Oh, so they're. <laughs> No, yeah, they're they're actors. Uh, funny enough, f- we moved. Uh, Lauren moved the Fran Drescher sketch up because he goes, "You don't want to be putting kids on past midnight." Because oh, yeah. then they're like, "You got these kids." Because people will be like, "Well, you got these kids out here that late and blah blah whatever." Even though the kid, I mean, the kids are loving it. It's exciting. Yeah. Obviously, they can hang out for one night yeah but it's but it was interesting that like lauren kind of said that he's like you can't you don't just the hoda girl killed it in that sketch it's that girl a, it's, it's a, boy. a boy oh sorry. they put a great wig on oh i couldn't yeah. tell at all oh yeah it's yeah, crazy it was amazing yeah uh the mario kid mm-hmm. his mom was sitting in front of us during rehearsals and she said that's his fourth or fifth time to be on snl and he just co-starred in a movie oh wow <laughs> so like how old's the kid I don't know. He looked like he's 10, yeah, yeah. 12. I don't know. Yeah. He's probably going to be a big star. And- so he'll be a wreck yeah. in his 20s. <laughs> that poor kid. I don't think so. He's, I think, you know, maybe. Macaulay right? Culkin in her hands here. No, we just say he's got a great family. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, his mom seemed very nice and down to earth. And yeah, someday you gotta- you'll be opening for this kid. Yeah, yeah. 
If you got a good family. Yeah, well, that's true. You need do need a good There has family. to be kid actors that have really planned, panned out. Oh, yeah. Like Drew Barrymore. Who, uh, Jason Bateman. is. Wasn't yeah. he a kid? Oh, right? yeah, yeah. He's been he was Yeah, it's stuff. like a solid career. Of, I think he was stuff very early. Drew, I mean, Drew Barrymore, I don't know. Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> uh, yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, they, yeah, well, they're Hillary not. Hillary Duff. Yeah. Corey Feldman. Well, I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drew Barrymore uh, hosted SNL when she was seven. Did she really? Yeah. Hosted it? Yeah. Wow. It was right after E.T. came out. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Uh, Richie Rice. Last week you mentioned that the Lake Song skit was shot around eight in the morning. Were there other skits that were shot early and is a live audience watch on a screen Saturday night? If so, is that extra time used strategically to switch to more elaborate costume and sets? Uh, yeah, Lake Beach is on Spotify. Isn't that crazy? You have a song on Spotify spot- with Dave yeah. Grohl. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> me, yeah, featuring Nate and Dave Grohl. Wow. Uh, yeah, so you can you can go download it, listen to it it's on everything. Uh, that we shot that one in the morning, and then that no one's watching those. There's no audience for those because we're in we're in a you're in a completely different. They have a studio that's like uptown. It's just completely different than the other one. And yes, they will put. I think after when did they air this one after the chef sh- or they aired the Halloween one after the chef show or something because we had to go into the George Washington one, and that was going to be a little more of a costume. So they they do strategically put these in mm-hmm. to be like this will give the cast more time to everybody change into their outfits and be out there and not be because if we would have went sh- uh, straight chef to what I mean I don't know if you could have done that because it's just so yeah so so they use those for that and yeah and if you're in the audience you are watching it just yeah. like people at home are yeah on yeah. the screen well you can see can't you see can you see some of them or no you can see all of them. All the sketches. I know, but can you see them from your seat, like live, or do you um or do you end up just watching on TV? Well, there's we were we had great seats right in the middle, but if you're at one end, you can't see all the way down to the other yeah. end, vice versa. But I'm talking about the pre produced sketches like Lake Beach. They put them on yeah. all the monitors oh, to yeah. people to watch. So we're seeing it as you and, are as at home. As you are at home, yes. Yes. Yeah. And then uh but like when I did the Fran Drescher sketch, because that was over in the corner, mm-hmm. you couldn't see any of that. Mm-mm. So you're just watching on TV. Yeah. Did you, which ones were you able to see? Chef show, probably pretty easy. Chef, I could see. Airplane, I could see half of. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I could see you at airplane, but I I could see people in the front yeah. of the airplane. Um, I was trying to think which ones actually made air. Um, George Washington's dead center. That's bright center. Yeah. Yeah. Um, George Washington, we did it where the stage where I do stand up at. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's where that's at. Okay. So that's all the Biden two at the beginning one. That's all there. So and I'm standing right before I walk out of the and they do the introducing the whole cast. That Biden thing is all on the stage that I'm about to stand on. Oh, wow. And do the monologue. And they got it off. So quick, so huh? once they finish and they go live from New York Saturday night. Once they do that. I'm already behind that door waiting. And then they're playing the intro of like, who's on the show. They clear that off that fast. There's a time-lapse video of this out there. Yeah. Yeah. SNL post that shows them clearing it while you're standing backstage. Oh, of, of my taping. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe post the George Washington video is so good. I just watched it again the other day. I think that's going to be one of those that's like a round, like a classic video that people it's being watch talked for a about long time. in that way. The yeah, best of it's, SNL. It's so good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a really great one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. I mean, yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you there's get no like that. um, you know, any kind of current thing on it that will make it be dated. That's a good point, right? Mm, it's yeah, just it's evergreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. Kai Wackley. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? I think that's right. No, I think you nailed it. Kai, K-A-I, Kai 
Wackley. I would think Wakely. Wakely. Yeah. Wakely sounds so much better. <laughs> yeah. It's like the I would be different if it was. I'm the Wakelys. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I would lean towards yeah. Wakely and not Wackley. <laughs> yeah, because it's W A K L E Y. I would call him K Dub. <laughs> yeah, if there was a yeah. C there, it'd be more of the Wack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kai Wack, Wackley. But the, yeah, the Wakely is, yeah, much better. It'd be almost like if you met him, you'd be like, Kai Wackley. You'd read the name. You're like, I don't want to meet that guy. And they go, it's Wakely. You're like, I'll bring him over. He's a cool yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> During the chef competition sketch was Keenan pushing the plate of food onto the floor improvised. Seemed like he did it to juice the scene a little bit and it got a great surprise reaction from the audience and the other actors. Great moment regardless. That guy is such a pro. Yeah. I mean, Keenan is unreal. It, uh, we knew we were going to, they were going to push it off. Uh, you didn't know how he was going to. I mean, he... Even in rehearsals, he would do it. Mm -hmm. He never actually pushed it off in any of the rehearsals, so he pushed it off at the uh, in that moment. But yeah, Keenan is. It's it's. I mean, he's unreal, mm. really. And anybody unreal. doing improv scenes like t uh, faking turning over the table like an imaginary table yeah. is a classic improv move. Yeah. I mean, to show your your uh, anger or your excitement, classic turn over the table. I mean, it, even just hanging out with improv people, you do that move to show uh, how fired up you are. I would give good money to watch videos of you doing improv back in the day. <laughs> do you know well, that's how he started? Is I got video? Some, uh, depending on how much money, I mean, I have some video. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, doing bucks? improv? Yeah. 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 It's hard to watch improv on video. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're, you know, Drew Carey. Whose line is it anyway? Well, I think we'd be watching for different reasons. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and you, yeah. How long did you do improv? Well, I mean, I, well, yeah, I started, I mean, I started doing some improv in like 2004, but I really got into it in 2008. And then I did it for, you know, six years. Improv? While I was doing stand up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did that blow your mind? It blew my mind. That's off. crazy. I found out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was doing it right along with stand-up for a long time. Were you a character guy? Did you have different voices? Oh, no characters. <laughs> I was always the same. My teachers were all the time like, hey, try some characters. Yeah. But I'm I'm pretty much me in every scene. Where, in Charleston? Yeah. Yeah. I'm me in every scene. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Opa like you're probably it. a lot to be friends with then. You're like, I mean, anybody that meets you, you're like, you want to come to my stand-up show? Got an improv show Wednesday? <laughs> you're like, oh. I mean, I was. You're inviting everybody. You know, you're. I mean, I was big time pushing my shows. I mean, I would do an improv show. And then the moment that show was over, I would have my flyers and I would run off stage, <laughs> stand by the door, hand everybody leaving the show a flyer to my stand up show. Smart. Yeah. I mean, I was on it with the promotion. Do you think you love the improv more than stand up? Like, or is it you're just better at stand up? No, uh, stand up I like the best. Yeah. Improv was just, you know, it's it was fun. Yeah. But it's stand up yeah. is where it's at. Yeah. You do. You are, uh, you know, you're tough to pin down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm out here. You're a multi-layered onion. Yeah. yeah there's you know? a there's a lot. Yeah. Let's start an improv troupe. <laughs> Call ourselves yeah. the Nate Land, <laughs> Nate Land improv Squad. Troop. Yeah. Mm. We did an episode on uh, while you were gone on sports <laughs> movies. <laughs> and um, I asked, if you had to go undercover and do any professional sport, like you're investigating something, which sport do you think you could best fake your way through yeah did i get asked this we like may it. have talked about this a long time yeah. ago but basketball basketball yeah like nba oh like if i if i had to yeah professionally, professionally. is what, what the question you was. had to blend in and people think you're yeah. and the team the team knows yes. you're in on it yeah basketball and and brian said soccer and then somehow that was less ridiculous than me saying a swimmer well, I'll tell you why. The 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 podcast erupted and and I Brian called do, me five I, three. I could maybe do swimmer. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what swim, I'm I saying. Can, well, I can no, swim fast. No, I can swim crazy. fast too. That's what I'm saying. Fast. Yeah. I, my understanding was the question was not about your actual performance, but how you could blend in. Nobody would look at the two of you. No offense, you're both doing very well in life. No one will look at the two of you and think that's a swimmer until well, they saw us swim. Right now, with my food problem no but i mean once i get this settled and then you know i'm sure look you don't you, you, there's got to be smaller swimmer i think they'd be they probably think the he's you know 
swimmer that's the hair would like hold me back a bit but <laughs> he's the they'd have to clean the pool he's the, he, the, a lot of the female swimming Time problems uh, <laughs> they think dusty dusty would do better going to a female swimming team yeah, well for sure and then be like and everybody be like oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Right. and dusty is a name that can really go either way yeah. it's true yeah. too yeah. it's true you know i think for mine would be mine would be basketball i think soccer for you huh i think soccer for you why for him because I look like a soccer. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You, yeah, yeah. So you're not saying like athletically. No. I think it's. The, I would think golf would be the yeah. easy. Oh one. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you're a great golfer. I think <laughs> it's got to shut that down. It's got to be a, right? a team sport. I think where you can just not even touch the ball. Are you saying I got to play in the game? Yeah, you got to get. You got to play. Oh. Uh, and Brian said soccer. I think I could get out there and just hide <laughs> in the middle and. <laughs> <laughs> like like Messi, he just, yeah. like, like Messi doesn't, Messi doesn't really run. I know, but the problem is he does good when the ball cut. Like, <laughs> can you imagine being like, "All right, I'm gonna be like Messi, but that ball cannot come to That's me." Exactly yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, my argument is, all right, I'm out there. The game ends one to nothing instead of zero to zero. Uh, <laughs> How big a difference is going to be? Soccer, nobody scores anyway. Yeah, but if you, it, I guess it's like, what could you? You s- couldn't make your. High school basketball team. Now you're playing the NBA. <laughs> I, I, well, I was thinking athletically, I can, you know, I can dribble to my legs. I could, yeah. I could like, <laughs> I picture like warm up. I could do some layups where you would just, you would not notice me. Okay. You just okay. wouldn't notice me. But I guess if I'm on a pro team and everybody's super tall, yeah, then you might. <laughs> Who's the five eleven you know, white guy? Such a physical difference. And then you, I, yeah, and you see not, me. I have a. You make me wear a jersey. The jersey's not going to be flattering for me. Oh god! And then you have the t-shirt on under yeah, yeah, the yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need more than that. I have a hoodie on underneath yeah. it. And then <laughs> <laughs> and just I got to put just a layers. Got, that guy's got it. He's got a lot going on. You're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do the yeah I would play. You know, when you see like, you always see Kobe like, or rub his chest like yeah. on the inside. Uh-huh. Yeah. I would just be doing that all the time, like covering my chest up <laughs> and just with a jersey on. Uh, I could see, yeah, I could be soccer. If you're size and everything, I could see soccer because I would just probably blend in and you're, the field's far enough away that mm-hmm. whatever. Uh, I, you, you're going to be tough though, man. Like it's, <laughs> It's uh I, I mean you gotta be able to run. You get like I'll stand in the middle. Have you seen me run? <laughs> it's they're gonna I've never seen Brian run. I, I think, either, me either. I think you would be you sh- they they'd make you'd be like just be a ref at one of these things. <laughs> like you would just be if you're you look like a ref. Yeah. A ref would be no brain. Uh-huh. Like a ref you could blend in. People probably think you're just an off ref when you go to the games. <laughs> Like they just go. <laughs> that was yeah. my day off. That was your yeah. And he's still here. He loves the he, game. He loves it. I like goes, well, my buddy's ref and he goes, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'd like to see you be the talking ref, you know, whatever they call those guys. You know the one that does the football, the one that Yeah. I think it's I, called the umpire in football. Right? I don't I don't think Maybe. anybody's ever. Isn't it like that. the main you have the white hats, the umpire, yeah. and the rest are oh, okay. refs. What did we say your sport was? Ever been I said about. a long snapper in the NFL. Okay. Long snap. I could be a holder. Hold the kick. I mean, maybe. maybe. I would I, mean, I would like, let go before you got there. Though. I think just you and let the go. pads I would mean, be. You, I don't think you'd catch the ball. <laughs> well, okay, let go. Good. I think it'd be. I think that, I mean, they they throw that ball back there pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Well, if Aaron snapped it to me, maybe we could be a team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> L- yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, somebody question. last week said uh, I could be the middle guy in the bobsled. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, just got to get in there. <laughs> get in there and that lay guy, down. You'd be. Why is the middle guy already in there? <laughs> He's already, and that, dude, those guys they're got, pushing me. They're, yeah, they got to jump me. Why is there one guy already in the bobsled? We go. No, don't. No, worry about it. It's not. We're doing it. We're doing it different this year. Uh, yeah, you could be the bob. Yeah, bobsled. Uh. Mm. 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 So, yeah, professional team. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, swimming doesn't seem so ridiculous to me. <laughs> yeah, I think a- athletically, I can, I have enough coordination to, bl- but if you're looking at size and all that stuff, you don't want mm-hmm. people to notice. If I was on a court with the basketball, hey, yeah. pickleball, I mean, I dominated you guys. Uh, yeah. yeah. That is, that's sort of, you were surprisingly good. Yeah. You could do cornhole. 
That's mm-hmm. professional now. Mm-hmm. Now we're talking. Now there you, you could do that. There yeah. Because you, yeah. you, you wore this stuff. But I'm sorry we called you 5'3 so many times. Today. Yeah, I mean, no, you guys really made it seem like I was oh, so there? short here. Yeah, yeah, right. oh, we can skip sorry. that. We'll get to it. Right. Huh? Right. We can yeah, still get to it. It's coming up. Mike Brown. There was a Debbie Downer skit with Ben Affleck back in the day where it killed at dress rehearsal, but bombed in the actual show when they reran the episode later. When? Oh. Bombed an actual show. Then, when they re-ran the episode later in the season, they used the dress version in the show instead. Were there any sketches that went better at dress for Nate? Uh, no. I think they w- they went good on all of it. I could tell Noah's Ark didn't get that many laughs, mm-hmm. and that got cut. But, I mean, it was like everything that got cut was like, yep. Like, yeah, made they made sense. the right choices. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we didn't have anything that. George Washington got the biggest laugh at dress rehearsal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then it did too. In, in the show. In the show. But it was, yeah, it was, you could tell Chef was very good. Uh, I mean, they they moved it all up. Airplane mm-hmm. did good, mm-hmm. you know. That's like watching a movie. Fred Drescher was, is the one that I was a little surprised. And not because she's very good at Fred Drescher. But it was like, it was, you know, is it too inside? Is he talking about the strike? Is it mm-hmm. like, are people going to get it? So, Friend Drescher was one that, and I think a lot of people were like surprised that that was like, made it. Mm-hmm. But it was, you know, Sarah, who does Friend Drescher, is really great at it. And, you know, that Hoda kid, and it was mm-hmm. like just very funny. It was yeah. just, you know. Mm. What are you saying, Dusty? I'm just saying it's like with that kind of stuff, it's like when you get a, you know, back in the day where you get a DVD that had deleted scenes and you go yeah. watch them and you're like, yeah, that needed to be deleted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They made the right call. Very rarely would you see one that you're like, oh, I wish that would have been in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Jason Murray. It was funny how long Nate and Brian took to dr- to try and get Dusty to recognize the Give Me Some Lovin' song. You know that song? No. Give me some love and give me, give, give me, me give some me some love and give me some love. <laughs> give me, give me <laughs> some love. That, you don't know that. Never You've heard, never heard this heard in my life. Give me some love. Give me, give, give me, me some, some love and give me some. Love. I didn't know it either. Who is this? <laughs> you I never think, heard that. I think song? Steve Winwood. Men at work. Steve, Steve Winwood's Winwood? the lead, lead singer. I knew. A, I know I a lot of him. music, and I had not heard. I had never heard you that. You never heard the song? I don't even think. Well, finish the comment, and maybe that'll help us. Hold on. Give me some love and song. I bet if you told him it was in the Days of Thunder movie scene where Cole was first starting to drive, he would have gotten it right away. Because I know he's seen that movie more than once. Yeah, you know, I just watched the movie recently. and uh, <laughs> um, But I still don't. The song's still not coming. What happened? Me. Could they air it? Or they cut it? we had to cut it out? We aired a little of it, right? Yeah. 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 I'll tell you about that. Type it in and then yeah we which have you to, want the Spencer Davis group yeah uh, do the other version or Steve Winwood no crazy <laughs> <laughs> oh okay I okay yeah yeah. 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 yeah okay yeah. I didn't know that was the name of the song give me some love give me some love hundred and thirty three million views wow. You still haven't heard it. I I, I, mean, I I guess I've heard it. I should listen to it on the way home, just hear the whole song. But, um, you know, Days of Thunder. Can't you see Cole yeah. driving his car and he's wrecking and struggling? Can you and- look up that Cole thing? See if it shows it on that? Yeah. I mean, uh, that movie was was really good, but it was, it was missing something. It was long. Days of Thunder. It was just like, if I, I think they did write a lot of it on the fly. Really? Yeah, like it was not well written. Who? Where'd you learn that? Uh, well, my wife uh, IMDb's everything. Oh, and that's movie. what they said. Yeah, oh, because wow. you're watching it and you're like, well, all right. They're just trying to make a lot of things real epic, where it's yeah. like it doesn't really. Like Robert Duvall is so great, but like when he's yeah. building the car, yeah, you're like, you got to, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Bristol's a great track. Well, we I'm can't. so glad Aaron's yeah. back to. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I can hear it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just need yeah. a little, little visual yeah, context. Little yeah. Days of Thunder. You can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. You needed the hum of an NASCAR engine in the background. I still hear, for some reason, come on and take a free ride. Free ride. Similar. Yeah, I still Similar. hear that. Similar, groove to it. Yeah, just a yeah. different song. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Everybody knows it. I hope everybody's happy. We got to the bottom of that. Uh, <laughs> it is fun to see you and Brian just yeah. give me some love and just no, yeah. Yeah. singing yeah. over and over. I, uh, <laughs> that took me by surprise yeah. just now. That's what we did last week, too. <laughs> you know what I forgot to say? I watched Shawshank Redemption. Are you what? serious? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know. I, I still haven't. So I just thought in the moment we were talking about songs. <laughs> I just it popped in my head. I go, I should just throw that. I still have never seen it. So, <laughs> and you got the DVD. I got yeah, it. I saw it down there. It's still in the yeah. case. Oh. It's still in the case. Still wrapped up. Oh. I'll watch it. It's one of those one when you do watch it, you're gonna be like, I really wish I would have watched this. Let's yeah. watch it together. We're we're yeah we're I, we're, we're 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 doing it sometime. <laughs> Yeah. As a no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet everybody for a moment really was like, let's get some popcorn. Yeah. Our next Krispy Kreme challenge. That's yeah. right. I did, yeah. I had, I had a good one. I beat my old record today. Uh, crazy to do. When you do a Krispy Kreme challenge just alone in a car, it <laughs> feels different. To just look up and realize you've set a personal record is nuts. Oh, you ate yeah. eight in the car? No, no. Oh, okay. I ate okay. back here. Yeah, okay. I had one. Oh, okay. I had one. You have one. Just yeah, to, of course. Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> and then you have one, and then I mean, by the time you get home, and you really get into them. Mm -hmm. That one didn't even anything matter. you eat in the car doesn't register. Yeah. Why like, do you think they come in dozens? I think it's so you can have two on the way home. <laughs> and then they go <laughs> ten. I think ten's the no ten is the logical number. It should come in groups of tens. A baker's doesn't A make baker's sense. Dozen. So you could have one on yeah. the way home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But why? Why is just by default does it come in dozens? It doesn't make any. You sense. get a double baker's dozen, and they go. This guy wants a. Two. He wants a couple on the way home. <laughs> I'll take a squad. Give me 26. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a couple? Out of that baker's dozen, I'll take a... But there's no reason. So two should. more bakers. <coughs> huh? There's no reason it should be 12, but it just is. Well, a dozen is... It's always been a dozen donuts. But why? Because half is six, and I don't... You know. <laughs> well, half a ten is five. Well, I know, but why should it be five and ten, then? Because ten, I mean, the world works in groups of tens. You know what else is in tens? Just everything, the metric system. It's a deck of donuts. What are, to do what the are, George Washington sketch at you, but it yeah, makes sense. What are, what are peeps in the Easter fours? Right, the groups of four. So why would that be? Why doesn't it come in a dozen? Four why doesn't it come in five? Is divisible <laughs> no. by twelve, right? You could do three yeah. fours and three fours. A yeah. So why yeah, would they it, fit in the box? Great, I'm giving you that, but it could <laughs> be. I don't know why it's twelve. I'm not mad about the extra two, but I just. It should be 10. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe you understand they like, what I'm saying? Maybe they like the sound. Dozen donuts. I think it's dozen. Well, yeah, dozen donuts. Go. I'll take a dozen they donuts. Did. If you said there's no word for 10, there is They'd come up with one. Eight dozen Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin donuts Twelve's more divisible, though. With, with friends, if there's groups of two, three, four, you can easily, everybody split it evenly. Yeah. With 10, as soon as you get to three people. Yeah. You're saying basically when you go and you eat a box by yourself, you appreciate <laughs> it. <if> <laughs> You go, I only eat 10 of them. I don't know why I'm having to pay for these other two. <laughs> <That's what> you, <laughs> <laughs> you should just say, uh, I'll take 10 donuts. <laughs> so you might as well do a dozen. <laughs> why? Ain't, all right. All right. I'm only going to eat 10, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can skip to Christine. Um. Uh, uh, well, we can just keep going. Okay. I think today very more of a kind of We're catching catch up. That's fine. Day. We yeah, kind of just covered group. that. But we'll go ahead. Oh, uh, we just did. Uh, I almost ran out of the road because I was left sore when Brian is trying to describe the song. And Dusty said that the more he described it, the less he recognized it. <laughs> Dusty almost literally killed that day. That was from Bonnie Abrams. Bonnie Abrams. Oh, is that the Bonnie Give Me Some Lovin'? Bonnie Abrams. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bonnie Abrams. I could have you guys sing that song every podcast. <laughs> Tell Bonnie Abrams, that's a like she probably had some run-ins with the law. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde, is that what yeah. you're thinking? I don't know. I it's just it Bonnie Abrams, yeah. I feel like Or maybe married to JJ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh Bonnie, like, I mean <laughs> possible. I feel like the cops would be like, where are we going? Bonnie's house yeah. again? Oh, uh, the Abrams. Bonnie a uh, Bonnie does seem like a wild name. Yeah, it is a wild, yeah. You got a little, you know. What did they do together? Rob Banks? Uh, they loved each other. That's mm -hmm. for sure. That's more important. Yeah, yeah, they robbed the banks. Okay. And then they had a big <laughs> shootout at one. I think they killed a lot of people, I think. Yeah. Oh, really? I thought they Maybe. did. Maybe. Yeah, so. they could have. I thought it was like no, a no, rom-com. No, they, they did. They had a... Uh, 
Well, they had a big. Uh, was that shootout. not? Was that not like Wesley? No. Uh, 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 yeah, it's Wesley Snipes. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, he played Bonnie. Uh, the uh, from White Man Can't Jump, not Wesley Snipes. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Yeah. <laughs> was it not the Woody White Har- Man from White Man yeah. Can't Jump? Is yeah. it not Woody Harrelson and and uh, in <laughs> the movie? Snipes? Was that? Who played Bonnie and Clyde in the movie? I don't know. I don't know. I don't oh, know. oh, I was thinking what the what are you, Oh, you're talking about natural yeah. born killers. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's okay. not the that's yeah, that's give me totally some love and give me, give <laughs> yeah. me some love. That's not Bonnie yeah. and Clyde. Natural born killers. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no. what's yeah, what's natural born killers? That was uh like Oliver crazy. Stone movie just about serial killers. But oh, really? it wasn't real people. Is it a good movie or is it very like, violent? Oh yeah. wow. Over the top, Juliette Lewis. Yeah. That was who Robert was Downey to Jr., Tommy Lee Jones. It's a heck of a cast. Yeah, yeah. Tom Sizemore, underrated. Tom Sizemore doesn't get talked. Yeah, about he's enough. great. What's yeah, another remember, thing? He's saving uh, Private Ryan. I remember this being. Was, never seen that. I don't think so. Saving Private Ryan. I don't think I've seen it either. I never oh seen my it. God. Uh, so I don't like the movies. Of, y'all just tap out in the nineties. You know, oh, that's his uh, era. No, that's I was I there. No, I was, <laughs> yeah. that that came out when I was uh, would have been in high school, I think, yeah. and or maybe my senior year. And I remember being super popular. I uh, did I? I don't think I saw it. And uh, I think it was like I was scared. I heard it was like violent, and I yeah. was like it's very uh, violent, over the top. Yeah, oh yeah. And I was like, I can't watch that. <laughs> Little, yeah, I mean, it would probably feel like nothing now. It was named the eighth most controversial film in history by Entertainment Weekly in 2006. Natural Born Killers, because we yeah. have been switched to Saving Private Ryan. Oh, we're talking about that now? Yeah. Well, we were. You said Saving Private Ryan, and then we yeah. kept talking about uh, okay. it. And then Saving of, Private Ryan is very violent, too. <laughs> then out of absolutely nowhere. Right. I thought that's what we were talking you about. Tr- like, I mean, we're, yeah, we were, uh, were we not, we were on to Saving Private Ryan. This is then, all the, juggling a few different things here. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. You're and right. then after Saving Private Ryan, people here, notorious for its violent content <laughs> and inspiring copycat crimes. <laughs> like, well, what was Saving Private Ryan about? <laughs> Uh, well, it was World War Two. <laughs> the first twenty minutes are brutal to watch. It's oh, a, that's it's where a guy was really Normandy like. Beat. Yeah, that was like really burned Omaha up. Beach. Yeah. Oh, there's terrible stuff. Oh, Getting there's your, all half kinds. your body blown off. Yeah, and, it's a guy picking up his own yeah, arm. That's why ground. I can't. Yeah. I can't watch stuff like. Yeah, that. but I think now, if we went back and rewatched it, it's like you would be able to handle it more just because we're desensitized a bunch. Yeah, I bet. it's very sad. violent, but at least it's. Based on something that really happened in history, it's not just making up stuff I, for the fun of it. I think that makes it harder. Like, like a Kill Bill is like almost like it's so over the top that it's like it doesn't seem as violent. Well, I get that, but like another I never watch that. Either, but like, uh, I thought it was too. See, that wasn't that way for me. But uh, Reservoir Dogs was too much. Mm-hmm. That was too real. I mm-hmm. can't handle that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But both Quentin Tarantino films. So his stuff is often so over the top that it's like, it doesn't seem so bad. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. Big movie guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he's not watching sports. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot going on, guys. Yeah, yeah. You're well rounded, multifaceted. Uh, Christine Conlon. Great Conlon. name. Great name. Christine Conlon. That is a good name. Uh, I've been a folk from the beginning, and now there's going to be a flood of new folks joining us joining us any thoughts on what we can call those of us that have been there from the beginning first generation folk first wave folk founding folk i like founding folk i like founding Founding folk folk. that's good yeah Mm -hmm. because it's kind of a reference to snl too yeah is it because the founding father is george washington Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't like founding folk anymore. Yeah, that's a real leap to. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's that big. That's what I thought it was a reference to. Sorry, founding uh, fo- founding folk. It's got you know the that's FF. got a good got ring. A real yeah, founding, founding folk. Founding yeah, folk. Mm-hmm. I'm a founding folk. Yeah, yeah. I like that. It's FF. A, yeah, founding folk. Founding yeah, folk. I think Aaron's right. If you hadn't, if it wasn't the term founding father, I don't. I think we'd be like, what's founding mean? But we've heard that term. Yeah. I just think it always father. means like beginning, right? Like a foundation on a house. But do you know anybody else besides founding fathers that it's been used for? Founding yeah. members of any any group? Yeah. Okay. This but I think I say something? founding. I think you you automatically say fathers in your head. The I founding, say founding. Yeah. You say? Yeah, exactly. Fathers. Oh. 
And then <laughs> give me some love. Give me, give me some love. Uh, founding, uh, yes, founding just means they found it. But our founding fathers did not find it. They didn't. So that's no. crazy. So but they, they, they founded, they founded the, country. the country. Yeah. They were the founding members. It's a very loose, yeah. So I, mean, I see what you're saying, though, because it's, they, you know, they, they go on the founding fathers and then Christopher Columbus or whoever. Yeah, but he's like, would be I like, found well, it. I, mean, like, I, yeah, I he, found it. He's the, fi- the finding father. The he's founding. Like, I found it. And they're yeah. like, but you're not a dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They found the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say founding members of one of the founding. Yeah, members. the founding principles. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. It's used <laughs> other ways. <laughs> you get kicked out because you don't have kids. Yeah, yeah, you're not a dad. Can't be a founding father. Yeah. Mm. Did all those guys have kids? I would think. George so. Washington have kids. I don't know if Ben Franklin. Had, oh, he did. He did have. He was a terrible father. Yeah. Was he mm. married? Uh, I think he was married. And I, I don't think he cared that much that he was married. Mm. If you know what I mean. He did some wild stuff. Yeah, so. yeah he was crazy. Yeah, good dude. Yeah. (laughs) Speaking of, let me tell you a little bit about game time. That's a great segue. It is. Our schedules usually have us buying tickets the day of the events instead of getting stressed out like we like out like that. We like the game time app. It has great prices on last minute tickets and flash deals. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, theater, and of course, comedy near you. The Game Time app makes it easy to see the seat view right there in the app. It's very quick and simple to use. There are only ticket apps. There are only ticket sales apps that we know of that offer, excuse me, they are the only ticket sales app that we know of that offers lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection, and job loss protection. Forget planning months in advance. Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event and even an hour after it starts. That's crazy. That That is crazy. crazy. You could just wait till you took the stage still. Buy your tickets. Right. That's the openers. Yeah. Take the guesswork out of... Yeah. (laughs) Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with GameTime. Download the GameTime app, create an account, and use code NATE for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code code NATE for $20 off. Download GameTime today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price. Guaranteed. Mm. That It is like, because when something starts... And you would be like, oh, I want to go to it. And then you could, you know, if it's a very last minute decision, mm-hmm. you, that is good that yeah, they do. You catch the second half of something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've gone into, I think, a sporting event where it's you missed, you know, but it just it randomly happened. And you're like, well, I went to, yeah, the Marshall. Well, we did a Minnesota Timberwolves game. You performed across the street. Yeah. And then we went and saw the second half. Yeah. I don't even, I barely remember that. <laughs> Who did they play? I think the Nuggets. Yeah. Where do we sit at? <laughs> I mean, courtside. Like, no, they were, no, they're no. pretty up high. Was, uh, yeah. yeah. I I remember being there, and I think I do. Yeah, I I do. I remember walking in there and all that stuff. I might have. I might have. You'd have asked me. I might have said I've never been here. Yeah. That's man. That's crazy. I do remember that. Mm. There's been a lot of stuff. Mm. Eric Gray. My dad is 70 and recently got a new phone, but he didn't want to put a phone case on it. His solution, he, <laughs> he carried it around in the box that it came in. Uh, I think he had a lot of missed calls as it took him a while to get the <laughs> box open every time it started ringing. Well, I love that. Yeah. That's so funny. That's so funny. Just yeah. the white big box <laughs> the iPhone comes yeah. yeah, that takes a minute to get open. It's kind of got a slide. It does. It's like a I think it's better than a case, though. It's, it's a very bad thing to do, but it's yeah. a good idea. You know, there's a there's a theory that if you if you don't have a case, you're actually less likely to drop it. I don't have a case right now. Yeah. Do you feel nervous about that at all? Do you care? No, I mean all? I have Apple Care, so yeah. it's like that's what you worst know. case scenario you'll just get a different one. Yeah, you just have to get it. But I think I'm so clumsy with my phone because I know there is a case on it. And yeah. if, if there wasn't, I'd be a little more protective of it. I think I also have a mix of I don't, I'm just, there's times I just hate the phone uh-huh. and I don't, and I don't care. Like, you're almost like where you're like, you know, I left my phone last night in the uh, car that brought us home. Mm-hmm. And 
And I woke up and it was gone. And I was like, I don't care. You know, <laughs> I had a moment of where like, you know, we got to get this phone. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to have this phone yeah. till later today or tonight. And I mean, I was just like, I don't care. Yeah. You know, if there's, I don't need it. Then we I'm got with it. You. We got it. Yeah, there's, yeah, it's just, yeah. So I think I have a feeling of that. Like, you you know, it's almost like, I don't know, maybe it breaks forever. And <laughs> it'd be great. Uh, Nathan McCarter just finished Dusty's full set that he uploaded to YouTube, and it is phenomenal. All right, Nathan. I've always enjoyed him on the pod, but hadn't heard him heard a full set from him. It had me rolling in the airport while I waited to board. Hopefully, I'll catch him around in the near future. Oh, yeah. I mean, those are old jokes, too. I got uh, a new set. I filmed a special. It's coming soon. I can't talk about it too much. And then I'm doing a different hour uh, on the road. So, All right. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. It's amazing, yeah. man. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I had a weird, like, this... Uh, yeah, go check. You look like in this video, like in the office space. Oh, the neighbor? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, my name, he, uh, he goes, well, you can do that. You don't need a million dollars to do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I got a cousin that does that. He would do <laughs> yeah. something. Yeah. You don't need a million dollars to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that character is great. Like yeah, like it's that your your beard is just it goes down and it's heavier a little bit more. Which, yeah, and those glasses, and then yeah, everything else is remarkably similar. To yeah, what I'm looking yeah. at right now. <laughs> yeah. Just the hat's yeah. different color. Yeah, no, I know, but the glasses are different. Yeah, I'm yeah. so glad they got rid of that backdrop at Zanies. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that's a that's tough looking. Oh yeah, it looks like an airbrush T-shirt. I had Tennessee. Yeah, I had. Uh, yes. Why was it up? It was for like something. They used it for a taping, and then yeah. they just left it there. Mm -hmm. for I a think while. it was up for. Might have been Brad Paisley's. Yeah. I think thing. so. Yeah. yeah. The, the Netflix thing you were on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, yeah, I had this weekend like because I was doing. It was interesting because uh, this was the first. Uh, this was the first shows after SNL, and. So the stuff I did on SNL was I, I do in my act. So doing those jokes again, it was interesting. Like it's like because it's like they definitely know these. You jokes. felt them that they knew it, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they minded like the donkey story because it's a story. I mean, I don't think they mind it. You know, it's just in my act, and I kind of looked at it as, you know, the way you look at a Tonight Show where you're just kind of like, yeah, this is just a glimpse of my out. You know, I'm still doing fifty eight or 50 minutes of not that yeah but it's uh it was but it was very it was an interesting feel i'll be interested to see what it feels like in a couple months like if it you know does it still feel like that because you know it's like i don't know i mean you know some stuff might not make it out of that you know if i do if i feel it but if i can get out there and i don't feel like it matters then i'll do it then not do it's it it's just so fresh right now yeah it's so yeah yeah, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was, I mean, I didn't feel it, the crowds were unreal this week, but it was, it's just, and some of it is like, could be in your, my head and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Rebecca G. Or Gee? Gee. Like Gordon Gee? Gordon Gee. Rebecca G. G-E-E. -E. I like to think it's G. Yeah. Rebecca G. Like everybody, they're like, what's the G stand for? You're like, oh, oh, geez. They're like, what's the G stand for? It's like G-E-E. -E. G. How tall is Dusty? I heard him, Aaron call him 5'3", at least three times over the past couple of pods. I know. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm 5'9", I'm I'm I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I, I actually, 5'9", is the average height of the world. That is average The height. world or the United States? I think the world. Overall. 5'9 is the average height. And I like it. I can sit comfortably on a plane. I can take a bath in a bathtub and not be cramped up. I can uh, uh, I can go to Goodwill and buy clothes, and there's always stuff in there. Uh, it's a great... What? I thought you were going to look Worldwide, up. it's about five foot six. So I'm above average. Yeah. 
So oh I'm yeah, not, I'm tall. Mm-hmm. Honestly, yeah. it's uh. I said this weekend, Gary Veter made fun of me because <laughs> I said in the NBA, I was like, in 50 years, is it like the everybody in the NBA is seven feet tall? Yeah, because they're just getting so much taller. Now. Yeah, yeah. That Wemby guy's insane. Boy. Yeah, yeah. He's seven four. Why do he make fun of you? Uh. Because because it's just absurd to think in 50 years, like the league will only be seven footers. So there's four, there's like 450, 60 people in the NBA. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm so th- there's going to be 467 footers that are better than, you know, everybody. I don't think it's that much of a stretch. Yeah. I don't think it is either. Why? Well, you thought it was dumb to say that? I mean, Gary laughed in my face. Oh, I don't think <laughs> yeah. it's silly at all. Because NBA, at, he's been around for what fifty years, and yeah, I think fifty years ago those guys were a lot shorter. Yeah, but I mean, I mean what's the average? What's the average height of a player in the NBA right now? According the average height of NBA players has been around six foot three to six foot seven since the inception of the league in the nineteen fifties. Yeah, now it's six foot six to six foot seven. So like the floor has been, the floor yeah. is raised. Yeah, uh, I, I would have thought it would have been higher than that now, but. Yeah, I need to. This I don't know if I trust this source. I we gotta to, start getting better food out here. I don't. I don't know that we're getting taller. You know what I mean? Our yeah. food is. It's not good. You gotta have some nourishment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a whole the seventy years of height evolution in the NBA. They analyzed over four thousand players. I need to dig into this. Average oh, so height's gone down. up. Cons- well, it's gone it's down, started, but it's yeah. it's up from what it was in the 1950s. It was like s- under six foot four. Yeah. Now it's over six foot six. So with that trajectory, and it, at it'll the all be peak over seven it, it feet. Was six seven. So yeah, yeah. So by 2050, less than 28 seven years. Well, I, I, mean, I said in 50 years. So yeah, it'd be 2073. Weight's gone up considerably. Well, you know it's hard. <laughs> The road is hard. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was thinking about foot, NFL. It's like we we have all these uh, like weightlifting techniques and supplements and stuff. And it's like people have gotten so strong that they're like killing each other. And that's why we have to make all these new rules to kind of make football weaker. Yeah. And it's like maybe let's stop getting so strong. <laughs> And then we can really tackle guys without like yeah. crushing yeah, them. Yeah, that's uh-huh. true. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel – I mean, I was – no so helmets. I, I might have said that. Yeah, I, I, like it'd say. be like the yeah. phone case. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. I think yeah. the helmets, I, I do actually do agree with that. Because like, it's like, you're, there's so many rules that you're not allowed to do so things. they're so strong. I know, because they're, yeah, and they got they're all these. freaks, man. Yeah, it's like, it's unbelievable. It's like, we've gotten too strong and our bodies can't handle getting hit like that. Yeah, I always feel there's more concussions now than ever. Has I mean, to be. I was like, watching. It's a, you see it, you know, but I thought everything was supposed to get s- safer but I mean, you and it's not like I know, like, well, they didn't report them back then, right. or something. But maybe you know, you have so much coverage now that you're just seeing it more now than you ever did. But I mean, I thought, like, all right, well, that's a very conscious thing that the NFL is doing. And you're like, every game, someone just falls and just hits their head mm-hmm. on the ground, mm-hmm. and they don't know where they're at. And it feels like every four or five plays, someone's injured. It's like there's a UFC fighter uh, in a fight recently, and he got. It, it looked like he got uh, kind of like knocked out or had a concussion, something like that. And then, so the doctor comes in and then they were fighting in Dubai. And I think he, you know, so he's like, he goes, what country are you in? And you're <laughs> like, it's like a guy, I don't know, I figure he might be from Brazil or something. You're like, if you ask me, yeah, like over there, you'd be like, I don't know if I know, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is Dubai the country or is it Saudi Arabia or, you know, yeah, you, it's like a pretty tough. And then there, the doctor's like, he doesn't know where he's at. You're like, I don't know if any of us really know where we're at. <laughs> right. Like, it, like what's funny. your hotel room number? You're yeah. like, I don't know. I was yeah. in, I've been in, you know, yeah. like 602, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's not what country, you know, you that's, that's that? a little, it, it would be more, you know. <laughs> do, you, do you ever see Varsity Blues? Yeah. The movie, there's a scene of R.C. Blues where the big guy gets a concussion and the yeah. doctor's going, what's two plus two? And then the quarterback comes over and goes, no, no, no. It's got to be true, false. True, false. He's holding <laughs> yeah. up some fingers. He goes, true. Yeah. <laughs> He's just a dumb guy on the ground. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it was like, but it, it was just funny. He was like, what country are you in? And he, 
didn't say it or something and you're like you know i don't why would this guy know about yeah. dubai like he you know it's not dubai is like is that a city or a country i would have to think about that yeah you just said yeah to what i'm saying yeah that's what that's what he's been yeah that's yeah is i don't it a know city? either i don't know look at yeah uh i think it's a country but would be one I'd have to think about. The most populous city in the oh, UAE. There you go. Could have waited two seconds. Capital right. of the Emirate of Dubai, the most populated of the country's seven emirates. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's like, that's a confusing country. Yeah, imagine now. if you just <laughs> answered with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm currently in yeah. the most populous city in the UAE. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's an insane. I, like, I want to, you know, I, I, I might have said Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you have a joke about going to Dubai, don't you? I don't know, Bah Bahrain. Oh, Bahrain. And then uh Oh, I didn't know that's where Dubai was. Yeah, where is it? Is it by Saudi Arabia? <laughs> what is Saudi Arabia? <laughs> Saudi Arabia's a country. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean that's a that's a pretty tough and then he's like, This guy doesn't know where he's at. You're like, I mean, oh, that's yeah. a tough Dubai's on the pizza uh, crust. UAE is uh, its own thing. Of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah. Pizza crust there. I was almost supposed to go to UAE, uh, and we did not. In high school? No, for the <laughs> stuff for the troops. <laughs> yeah. Stuff for the troops. That sounds uh, like a university. Yeah. UAE. Almost got there. Aaron, you want to tell us about Delete Me? Oh, I've been waiting all day to talk about it. Delete Me. What a company, folks. We're excited to tell you about a new sponsor, Delete Me. Nate and Laura have been using it for a long time now, and I've also signed up. The onboarding process was very easy. You put a little bit of information in. It will do the work for you. They send out reports monthly, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they found and removed from me. As a person who exists publicly, we're all hyper aware of safety and security. It's easier than ever to find personal information about people online and all of this data, data hanging out on the internet can have actual consequences in the real world. Data brokers, ugh, scum of the earth. They collect huge amounts of your personal information, like your name, address, phone number, and social security number. This sensitive personal information is then sold online. For anyone to get, what a violation of our privacy. That is where Delete Me can help you. They're a subscription service that removes your personal info from the largest people search databases on the web. And in the process, they help prevent potential ID theft, doxing, and phishing scams. And they keep scanning for new data, data and get that removed as well. Take control of your data and keep your per private life private by signing up for Delete Me. Now at a special discount for our listeners today. Listen quietly. Today, you can get 20% off your Delete Me plan when you go to joindeleteme.com slash Nate and use promo code Nate at checkout. The only way to get 20% off is to go to joindeleteme.com slash Nate and enter code Nate at checkout. Once again, that's joindeleteme.com slash Nate. Code Nate. Boom. Is this how we're spelling turkey now? What's going on with that? <laughs> Yeah, what's up with that? I mean, <laughs> and look over to the right, the Turkmeister. What? Turk, Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. I don't oh. think I've ever even heard of that. I haven't either. Well, Man, that's a big area not to have ever heard of. <laughs> yeah, Turk, I agree. Turkmenistan. Maybe it had a different name. Look at that building that when you highlighted it. Uzbekistan. Uh, Uzbekistan? Uz yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, highlight the Turk Turkmenistan. Look at that building when it comes up. Can you uh, like not? Look at that time. I mean, what are the? Uh, oh, yeah, that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> well, this part of the this you know this was all Soviet Union, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or am I thinking of the wrong? Well, Georgia was. It's right above it. Mm -hmm. Bulldogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no reason to you know when you know about the that you see this because it was like man it'd be I would like to go to these other places You're like what is going on in these other places uh, just to see it and then uh, yeah, the Black is, Sea I'm going Turkey? to Israel. You are point. yeah. Right now. Uh, next week. <laughs> there, no, uh, next year. Okay. So the plan is, yeah, to do stand up. I don't know yet, but it's a trip. But it's I, maybe I don't do some stand up, but it's not cause of stand up. 
Okay. I'm not going cause of stand up, but the I'm way you're saying cause of stand up sounds stand-up. like you're saying another country. Yeah, that is true. Just cause, cause of stand up. <laughs> <laughs> cause of stand. Is yeah. cause of stand a country? Yeah. Although I, what was uh, Borat? Where was he from? <laughs> Kazakhstan. There's Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Yeah, Kazakhstan oh. is. I mean, Dusty knows this area. This is Old Testament country here. Yeah. Dusty could tell it's all you all about Mesopotamia, it. Mesopotamia, all that area. Yeah. And China just sneaks up out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, we're not going to do the stand thing. Yeah. Where's the most remote place? Oh, it's in uh, the most remote city is in Australia, in Perth. Oh, yeah. Because there's, there's that's right. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that yeah. from the Australia episode. You I am so. learning a lot on this podcast. I just don't remember it until it gets mentioned would, verbatim. To you me. think somewhere yeah, in yeah. North Korea would be the most? Oh, they're their most remote. You know, like they don't let economically them. and and socially, but we're talking about physical remote. Well, I'm the most socially. <laughs> how is it they're they're at, at Brazil? How's it their winter if it's starting to become our winter? Because Australia should be well, getting warmer. It's, right so now. we're in the fall coming into winter, right? So yeah. they're in uh, spring. The spring coming in. They're like the end of, yeah, yeah, they're the opposite of us. So it's like getting warmer, but it's still yeah. cold there. Yeah. What is uh, DRC there, right in the middle of Africa? Uh, the, the, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. The Congo. Just go with Congo. Uh, <laughs> Prince Bodine. Mm. Oh, that's oh, a man. good name mm-hmm. Prince uh, after listening to Aaron's audio special I think Aaron might be the best new comic of the oh, year wow. Aaron's joke about family feud was hilarious and had me almost pee my pants oh, that's nice. I think we've got a big time comic on the come up right. how about that best well, new comic of the year that was from a couple years ago but that's very nice but yeah, the that nice is- part is if you come see me now I'm not doing any of those jokes anymore so it'd be all new. So for listen you. to the album and mm-hmm. then come see your show. Mm-hmm. I think it's this is a great comment, but you're not a new comic. But I get it. I understand that. People think Nate's I was a new saying, comic. But for Nate is a new comic for a lot of people. Or oh, you're yeah. a new comic for I've seen saw a post on Reddit about you the other day. Best oh. new comic coming oh. on, Dusty Slay. Was it good? Oh, it was good. Okay. Yeah, it was a nice comic. Reddit I found yeah, is you're not always necessarily new my spot. Coming up <laughs> yeah. until you're not. Right. Mm-hmm. Everybody, yeah. I mean, that's it. Like, but that's in every single thing where it's like twenty right. years of hard work for overnight success is twenty years. Yeah, it's like that's a anything that you ever do. You know. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you, Prince Bodine. It's a very nice comment. Yeah. What's Bodine? Bodine is bovine. Bovine okay. is whales. I thought it was cows. Oh, yeah. Oh, I never heard that. I think bovine's cattle, isn't it? Yeah. I've what is Wales? I've heard that word before. Bovine? Bodine's a race car driver, isn't it? <laughs> Bodine. Bodine. Bovine includes cattle, bison, buffalo, and uh, antelopes. Okay. Okay. I don't know why you would ever need to group all those together, but all right. Well, I get there you it. have it. Learn uh, something new every day. Oh. All right. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is there anything else to add? Yeah. Uh, we can say where you're going. Yeah. I mean, we we had a topic today, but I mean, we ended up just kind of. Yeah. This is great. We haven't been back together, so we just ended up catching up. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's great to be back, man. It's great to see everybody. It is. Yeah. You know, I miss you guys. None, I miss none, you. Miss you. none of y'all checked in with me. But I mean, it just shows that. I'm just kidding. I'm and, kidding. Uh, yeah, I text you all the time, and I'd be like, oh, sorry, I forgot you were in another country. That's okay. Yeah, I didn't know you were in the country until <laughs> this morning. I didn't hit Nate uh, up because I thought, it, you know, your life's been crazy the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. There was I got you a lot I mean? of text. I figured you never want to, you know, pile on. No, 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 no. I, it's like you yeah. know, it's fun. I, it's nice you see them. Mm-hmm. And you look at the text; it's just responding back to everybody. Totally, you that's know? the thing. Because I always have some. It's like, you know, it's it's a mix of you know, everybody gets it. Like a lot of people, I can't respond, but you just. And when Jerry Seinfeld's so calling you, yeah. it's tough. You're like, well, I got, <laughs> yeah. I got some, I got to prioritize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, got Text <laughs> yeah. Brian Bates. Yeah. <laughs> and Jerry Seinfeld's FaceTime. <laughs> well, this week it, it's been this past week is so busy. That, like I, I don't like you know people I know. I'm like I don't know if you know how much is. I'm not just sitting in a hotel room. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, that Saturday is you're doing stuff the whole, you know, and that's, I know that's the occasion. Saturday Night Live, the week of Saturday Night Live, you're doing stuff that entire week. And then I come home for, 
a day or two, we do the podcast and then, you know, it's like, you don't really have time. Like, I don't want to just get done with doing this. You know, I have a family and I want to see my daughter and wife. Yeah. And then, so, yeah, but you, I'll have, I'll have, it's funny because I have some friends that are like, oh, you're getting too big. You're like, dude, I get my, <laughs> it's the text. If you catch me at the right time where I can text you back, then I'll get you back. But otherwise you just get, it just gets pushed down. And then you're like, totally. You know, if it's a big job, people ask a lot of long questions on text. You know, <laughs> tell me about all, you know, yeah. starting live. How was it? Tell me everything about it. You're, and a text. Tell me everything yeah. about it. <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Start with Monday. <laughs> yeah. You're like, it's a crazy. Walk me through the week, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I do a podcast. Just yeah. listen to it. Send him a link to the That's the, Yeah. It's funny is that is the heart. I did want to, you don't, I don't ever want to do that to your friends, but you want to go like, Hey, I, I, some of them are going to go like, dude, I would, I'll, I'll give you a very brief example. I talk about it all in the podcast. So if you want to go here. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not going to just text my buddies that a link. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> you know, I don't ever say that. Yeah. But. but no, I can't imagine. I mean, my phone will get like that and I'm not even on Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, so if you're on yeah. Saturday Night Live, I can't imagine. Well, like when I did the Tonight Show the first time, it was like pretty overwhelming yeah, for me. A, and I was pumped because I was like, yeah, these are people I've not talked to in years. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, you saw what Can't I did. Can't wait to tell them. Yeah, you saw what I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, all right. Well, this week uh, I've, uh, I'm in Las Vegas nice. in Cleveland. Uh, the new tour has been announced for 2024. Uh, tickets are up. Before sale. Uh, so make sure you go grab those. The shows have been super fun. After this, I mean, I am going to take a little time off after this, the end of this tour. So uh, it won't be insane, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know what it might be. Might be eight months, might be a year. I'm not sure. Uh, and then I'll go back out, do a big, big tour. But so uh, you got, yeah, Cleveland, Cleveland, Erie, Pennsylvania, all that. Uh, and then going into 24. But so the end of this Be Funny tour will be, I'll be kind of ducking back. I like being off. Like there's, there's been a lot of stuff. I've, I've been on everything. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, these like, and you're kind of like, I'm like, eh, I want to like go back. Yeah, to you're just, poking your head in for a month, yeah. you know, and then mm -hmm. and yeah, you just you kinda, step well, back yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. Where'd that guy go? And then you come yeah, back. You come back. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be in all that stuff. And we've loved it. We've had fun. Thank you. Every single person come on the road. You're you're the best. Uh Bates. Uh tonight I will be at Zany's here in Nashville. All right. Doing my show. It's gonna be great. There's gonna be some people on this podcast on the show. Oh. It's uh they bill it as Brian Bates and Friends. I didn't ask him to, but Lucy was like, <laughs> we should point out there's gonna be other people on the show other than <laughs> no, you. Yeah. I'm the only one on the whole Zany's calendar. This is and friends. My last show there was and friends. It's it, it happened. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. uh I'll be at the CMA. Yeah, well, I didn't want you to. <laughs> uh, I didn't want you to tell him because I just wanted. Oh, <laughs> yeah. to, let's go see. But I, know, well, I didn't want to make them. Feel, yeah, well, really, I, I wanted the exact opposite. I wanted yeah. them to show up. Really narrow. Someone it down will be. Now. Yeah. it's going to be a bad show. Let's just say that. No, one of y'all are on it. Yeah, are you? Doing yeah, it? Brian, Aaron, and Dustin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're doing it. We'll I had forgotten about it, but I yeah. now that this. No, I will do it. Yeah. yeah. So there. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. But these guys don't move that many tickets. So, yeah, they're together. Dusty's. I'm kidding. Yeah. Dusty does sells out theaters. I, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, why would you not just say they're going to be there? <laughs> well, I was getting there. I, I said oh. it was a bad show. That's, that's uh, what they call it. Yeah, you don't oh, want, bad. like, yeah. you know, you don't really want people to think that Nate's going to be there and then him not be there. I, I know Nate did my show like two or three times in a row. And then the time that he wasn't going to do it, I was like, oh, man. Like this, like we've really built up an expectation now. And I'm like, yeah. he's not going to be mm -hmm. on it. So it was still very good. Well, this is what, like, when I do a showcase at the club and they say, you want me to bring you up as Nate Land Podcast? I yeah. go, no. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> they're going to get so excited and think it's yeah. Nate. <laughs> I do the opposite. Yeah. I always help them introduce me as the star of the Nate Land Podcast. Because <laughs> they're already going to be disappointed. So I might as well just get yeah, out of the way. Yeah. I love that. And Dusty wouldn't do I think I told this on here when you weren't here. I told Dusty to introduce me, and Dusty's like, nah, I ain't going to do that. And I said, all right, just say I'm on the Nate Land Podcast. And he goes, nah, I ain't going to do that either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think that was the thing. Nate had done it a couple of times in a row. And I'm like, I don't want to, 
you know, I, like the audience is going to think Nate's going to be here. Yeah. And then if I bring, you know, it's like, yeah. I don't want to, not that you would be a disappointment, but I don't want to do them like that, you yeah. know? Because it would be a disappointment. <laughs> 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 well, I'm going to introduce you both as that. Yeah. So anyway, that's, I got Zany's. Uh, this weekend, I'm at uh, Comedy Off Broadway. Great club. In All right. Lexington, Great Kentucky. Club. We shot Greg Warren's special there. Oh, yeah. I love that club. Um, and then uh, November 18th, I'm at uh, Studio Theater in Little Rock. People have like, man, you're going to have a hard time selling tickets because Burt Kreischer is there the same night. I think we have slightly different audiences. So I think, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I can blame it on that. You will take your shirt off on stage, though. Right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think they'd be attracted to your earlier start time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, come to those shows. Uh, yeah, I was at Albany this weekend. Mulaney was there or something. So oh, yeah. Right at the theater. Right, wow. Right next to the club. Uh, I felt it. This weekend, I'm in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut at the Stress Factory. Two nights. And then next weekend, I'm exciting. This weekend is actually selling well. Like the comic strip in Edmonton, Alberta. All right. I've never headlined anything in Canada before. So it's exciting. It's awesome. numbers. And I was like, oh, these are actually going to be yeah, great that. shows. Yeah. So I'm there for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then one more I'll plug quick. Thanksgiving weekend, Appleton, Wisconsin at Skyline Comedy Club. Right. So it's all, all right. it's all exciting. That's Come on fun. out. I'm, I'm the gonna, hottest new comic of the year. Boom. Mm -hmm. I'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina at, the, well, Cary, North Carolina at the Raleigh Improv this nice, weekend. Nice. That's going to be great. I love that club. I've done it a bunch of times. Next week, I'm going to be November 14th. I'll be at Zany's doing doing a show. So come see me this Wednesday and next Tuesday. Well, well that says you're going to be at the Grand Ole Opry uh, on the 14th. Where is it say? Where, where is it? Tuesday. Next Tuesday, you're at the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, Grand Old Comedy Show. That's oh, my bad. Uh, that's what my I call mistake. my show at Zany's, right. the Grand Old Comedy Show. Yeah, it's confusing. kind of the vice versa of what he just did. <laughs> yeah. You're like, maybe you shouldn't call it. Well, I used to call it that before I was actually able to do the Grand Old Opry. <laughs> yeah. And now it's a bit confusing. <laughs> right. I've yeah. been doing the show a long time, and it was like, yeah, it was a playoff. I'm in Nashville. It's a Grand Old Comedy mm -hmm. Show. And now, yeah. it, now it is confusing. <laughs> yeah. <Gotcha. laughs> yeah. So, but it's going to be great. All these yeah. shows are going to be great. You yeah. can't go wrong. Yeah. Buy a ticket to a Nate Land show and it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Uh, that is it. We love you. I hope you have a great week. And uh, I think we will all be here next week too. We should. Yep. Yep. So, all right. See ya. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetsy, and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast. <laughs>